It's, I'm really looking forward. I think this is a great, great matchup. Not one we maybe anticipated back in February, but one that was shaping up for a while. <laughs> one that we watched in the bubble in the Western Conference exactly Finals right. three years ago. And uh, it was noted to us by Michael Malone, the fans here in Denver, they had to watch it on television. So you got to go back to May 29, 2009, the last time a Western Conference Finals game was played here in Denver. All right, let's get your keys for game one of the Western Finals. L.A. needs their threes. Uh, there's no question Denver's a better offensive team. L.A.'s going to have to make more threes than they're accustomed to making, I think. They're going to have to battle on the glass. Denver's also a better rebounding team. So it's going to be important for the Lakers to battle on the glass. For Denver, they got to defend without fouling. L.A.'s incredible the way they get to the free throw line and they don't foul themselves. You have to defend without fouling against them. Denver needs to rebound so that they can run. You need easy baskets. And one of the Lakers' shortcomings, they're not a good transition defensive team. Give you the lineups for game number one. The Denver Nuggets have had the same lineup for all of their games so far in the postseason. They took out Minnesota in five. They took out Phoenix in six. And they'll go with Jamal Murray and Contavious Caldwell-Pope in the backcourt. Caldwell-Pope, of course, was on the Laker team that won the bubble championship in 2020. A front line of Aaron Gordon and Michael Porter Jr. And Nikola Jokic, who had a monster series against Phoenix. 34 points, 13 rebounds, 10 assists. And oh yeah, shot 44% from three-point land. For the Lakers, they're going to go with the lineup they used to clinch against the Warriors on Friday night. That's the three-guard lineup with D'Angelo Russell, Dennis Schroeder, Austin Reeves in the backcourt. That puts LeBron James on the front line and Anthony Davis in the middle. Davis had 17 points, 20 boards, a couple of steals, and a couple of blocks in the game six clinch. For more on Schroeder staying as a starter, let's check in with George Sedano. Thanks, Kesty. That's a lineup, that three-guard lineup of Reeves, Russell, and Schroeder that Darvin Ham likes to go to. He went to it a lot during the season. You saw it during both the previous series. And Dennis Schroeder, particularly from the defensive end, has been incredibly versatile for this team. He guarded Draymond Green. He guarded guards, Steph Curry in that last series. And as TJ mentioned, they got to hit their threes. Well, he hit their threes, or his threes, in that last series. So, they kept it going from game six to game one. Appreciate it, George. And as we get set for the start of the Western Conference Finals, the Nuggets going to be in the blue home uniforms. The shorts are blue and turn into red at the bottom. Numerals in gold. And the Lakers are going to wear their gold uniforms trimmed in purple. Our game one official crew, the leader, Zach Zarba, our chief. Eric Lewis and Ben Taylor rounding out the officials and 19,520 on their feet. They are stoked, to say the least, here in Denver. Kevin Scott will be in the replay center. I'm sure Monty will be uh, helping out if needed there. And again... Only the best officials advance also. You know, we noticed about a half hour ago they were working on the shot clock above the basket to our right. They have put score, time, and shot clock on the floor. And each because, corner. Yeah, if, if both of them are not working, the two of them above the basket, neither of them can work. They don't want to give one team an advantage. That's why they're using the ones in the corner right now. So the uh, clocks above the baskets are turned off. They have portable backups, one in the... Left corner facing us and one to the right corner down the right sideline. A little bit of an adjustment for the players. They're used to looking up at that board. They know where it's going to be. They will figure it out. But you're gonna, it will come into play, Kesky, without question. These teams played four times in the regular year, twice in October, three times before Christmas, and they last met 127 days ago on January the 9th. I think we're about set to go. I think the holdup is over the timing issue over the backboards. 127 rosters to go off. Yes, that is true. You know, going back, everybody keeps talking about the bubble. Nikola Jokic was there. Jamal Murray was there. Michael Porter. So was KCP, but he was on the other team. And, of course, LeBron and AD, the only two left from that championship Lakers team. Here we go. They've got the timer set in each corner. Zach Zarba tosses it up, and the tap is tapped four times before Austin. Austin Reeves comes up with it, and the Lakers will get the first offensive crack as we watch game one right to left here courtside. That's a porter on Schroeder. You were wondering who he was going to cover. And right now the pass goes to D'Angelo Russell. Fires it to Reeves. Left side three. First shot. No good. Long rebound. LeBron James chasing it down. James with fake pass. Takes it to the rim and scores the layup. The 38-year-old off to a good start. Nikola Jokic will bring it into the front court for Denver. 
2-0 in favor of the Lakers. Jamal Murray out on the left wing will dribble around an Aaron Gordon screen. Goes to Jokic on the right. Double toward the high post. Indeed, a double gets rid of it to Murray on the drive. Got by the defender. Missed the layup. Anthony Davis couldn't come up with it. And the putback goes down for Aaron Gordon. How about both teams with offensive rebounds? Both teams convert them. 2-2 game early. Russell backs down KCP. Jumper off the spin is a miss. And rebounded by Porter. Porter will get it into the front court, gets it into the hands of Jokic. Quickly to KCP. Caldwell Pope to the free throw line. Fading jumper. Swiss 4-2 Denver. KCP really heated up in those final two games of the Phoenix series. Tied a playoff career high with 21 points in the clinching game against the Suns. The blowout. Here's Davis on a little runner. Missed it from five. Jokic the rebound and turns tail. Heads the other way. Right down the middle of the floor. Bounces it off to Gordon who lays it up and in. Jokic pushing the ball. Again, we talked about the one thing defensively the Lakers do not do well is get back in transition. Three Nuggets baskets, two Nikola Jokic assists. 6-2 in favor of Denver. Reeves on the right, lobs it to James. Right wing against Porter, faces up, ball on the left thigh. Switches once, looks into the corner. Now he looks in the corner, that's where the shot clock is. Three to shoot, puts it high off the glass, missed it. Rebound Jokic. It's a tough spot in front of the timer when you got to look back and see how much time there is on the possession. Yeah, you don't want to be in the right corner. 6-2 Denver. They scored the last six. Here's Gordon into the lane. Shot is rejected by A.D., the help defender. James, two on three, into the corner to Schroeder. He'll rise from three, and he'll swish it home. Instant action from Schroeder. That's why he's in the starting lineup, I think. Be interesting talking to Darvin Ham tomorrow. Uh, about why he chose to start Schroeder, I think, for the offense. 6-5, and Schroeder trying to defend Jamal Murray, receives the pass, sends it over to the wing. Three-pointer is up, and it is good. Michael Porter Jr. hitting a triple 9-5 in favor of the Nuggets. Michael Porter can be a huge X-factor in this series. There's LeBron James well beyond the strike, takes a three, missed it. Two Nuggets under the basket, and Murray grabs the board. Jamal Murray into the front court. Murray with nine minutes to go. First quarter sends it on top to Caldwell Pope. Thought about a shot, dribbled. Now sends it over to Jokic. Top of the circle. Back to KCP for three. Around and out, no good. Offensive rebound. Porter dribbles out of traffic. Fades, turns, fires, misses. Jokic an offensive rebound. Nifty pass out to Gordon. Hits the cutting KCP into the lane. Reverse layup. No. Jokic tap. Yes. And Denver killing him on the offensive glass. Four offensive rebounds, three of them on one play. But they converted both possessions. 11-5 to five in favor of Denver. AD gets deep into the lane and through traffic able to put it in. Uh, Nikola Jokic was not matched up with them that time, but it would seem AD's going to attack the big guy, hopefully take advantage of quickness. Here's two for AD. Here's Murray from outside. Lines up a three and knocks it home. The Denver Nuggets have hit six of their first 12 from the field. 14-7. Denver leading. Eight minutes to go. First quarter. Game one of the Western Conference Finals. Anthony Davis at the top against Jokic. Now drives on him. Into the lane. Spin. Got some contact. Took the shot. Missed it. And that's another thing Anthony Davis is going to try to do. And that's get into the body of Jokic. So they're going to call the foul on Gordon. Wow. And Paul Jokic is lucky because he stuck his hand in right there. I'm waiting for the announcement. You saw Eric Lewis signal. I saw 5 and 0, oh, yeah. Aaron Gordon wearing jersey number 50. That'll be the first personal on Gordon. It'll send Anthony Davis to the line. And that's what these teams really don't have is depth at big, especially the Lakers if Anthony Davis was to get Tell me Aaron through. Gordon is not arguing about the call. <laughs> I know. Does he, he realize who would have got he it? He should be thanking Eric Lewis. First free throw good for Anthony Davis. There was no doubt in my mind. The two times he was guarding him, Nikola Jokic guarding Anthony Davis, he put it, put it on the ground and attacked. He's definitely going to be more aggressive, and he would love to get him in foul trouble. He also attacked the other time he had it when he wasn't matched up with uh, Nikola Jokic. So maybe we're going to see a more aggressive AD on the offensive end. AD hits both. He's got four. Lakers still down five. 14 to nine, Denver. Here come the Nuggets. 7.50 to go in the first. Jokic, no look underneath the Porter. He slams it home. The basket won't count. There was a foul before the gather. And this will be side out of bounds for Denver. He went back door, and they were lucky because it was going to be a dunk. Michael Porter beat the defender back door. Jokic with a good pass. 
Schroeder picked up the foul, his first. Quick inbound to Porter. He'll take a deep two and he'll net it. Michael Porter Jr. Looking like he's got something going here early. He's a much, much improved player from the bubble in 2020. Five points for Porter. 16-9 Denver. Schroeder left corner. Thought about a three. Drives into the lane up high. Around the horn it goes. Reeves from the right. Stops in the mid post. Out to James Gordon quickly to get on him. James got on his horse. Down the lane. Flips it up. Missed it. Rebound tapped out. Murray's got it in transition. Murray all the way to the rim. Murray layup. Good. Denver with an 18-9 lead. And Darvin Ham calls the game's first timeout. Lakers are missing some shots. That just ignites the fast break. Golden State was not able to get enough stops to get running and playing downhill. Early on, Denver's doing just that. Denver's shooting 53%. Every one of the starters have scored. And the Nuggets with the early lead, 18-9 here in Denver over the Lakers. And with 7.14 to go in quarter number one, you're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. The NBA benefits and experience. As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with New York City's youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you can get a $2,500 bonus. Earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. Seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. With car prices at an all time high, our donors are now getting highest receipts ever. Donate at carsforkids.org and your car can be picked up tomorrow. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with NYC's youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you could get a $2,500 bonus. Earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. With you inside our Granger studio. Don't forget to log on to our Twitter account at NBA on ESPN Radio to vote in the AutoZone in the zone poll question. Who's going to get in the zone for tonight's game one of the Western Conference Finals? Dakota Jokic, Jamal Murray, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. In the zone brought to you by AutoZone Free Battery. The free AutoZone Fix Finder service can help troubleshoot the likely cause of your pesky check engine light for free, and it can get you back in the road. Restrictions apply. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Back to Ball Arena. Here's Mark Chester, Sherwin Company. All right, Kev, thanks a lot. And, uh, P.J., six offensive rebounds, and the Nuggets are running here in the opening minutes. Well, neither are surprised. The Nuggets, one of the best rebounding teams in the league and certainly one of the best left in the playoffs. And, again, Lakers not all that good on the glass. And then on top of that, they're not a good transition defense team. So you know on the whiteboard in the Denver locker room it was rebound and run. They get the ball on misses. They are going to push it every single chance they get. Lakers are not good. They're an excellent half-court defensive team. You don't want to play against their half-court defense. That's what Golden State had to do for a big chunk of that series. Lakers will bring it up, trailing 18-9. to From right to left, the same starting five on the floor. Russell loops it to James in the high post. Gordon defending, sends it over to the corner, A.D. A.D. against Jokic into a double spin through it. Shot did not hit the rim. Tried to square, never got there. Again, he drove on him. Here's Murray, bounce pass to Jokic. He's going toward the basket. He'll send it out to Gordon. A wide open corner three is a miss. Schroeder rebound. Too unselfish. Jokic had a layup or a dunk. 
that he passed it out for a Gordon three. Here's Schroeder using an AD screen. Lift to the three point line. Short. Missed the jumper. Three nuggets under the board for the easy rebound. Lakers have opened three of 11. Here's the aggressive Nuggets. In deep, Gordon gets to the rim and crams it home with the right hand. Well, they, they love this. There's the steal. On the sideline, KCP. Half court to Jokic. Already 20-9. to nine. To Murray. Changes left-hand reverse layup. No, but another offensive rebound and a stick back by Jokic. They got to take advantage right now when the Lakers are tentative. Not making shots and build a big lead. 22-9. Lee Browning, 6.08 to go in the first. And now using a high screen from Davis. Russell gets fouled. Got a shot off. KCP, before the shot, commits the personal foul. That's number one on Contavious Caldwell-Pope. I think KCP's got a little extra fire in him playing against his former team. 8-0 run for Denver. Inbound to A.D., sends it back to Schroeder. Schroeder dribbling out to the right wing, terminates, goes to Reeves on the left. Big hand of Porter in his face, puts it up and got lucky off the window and in. Kissed it off the glass for three. He's a very good shooter. I do not think that was his intent on that shot. He shot it a little higher because Michael Porter was closing on him. And that's why it was able to bank in, but that was high off the glass. They will take it in D's, 22-12. Joker, a high, deep two, goes down. How about Jokic in the first quarter? 6.7 boards, four assists. Here's Davis right into Jokic. He lets him go for the easy deuce. There's going to be a lot of those. 24-14, to 10-point game. Denver leads, 5.15 to go first quarter. Jamal Murray out on the left. Murray, two-man game with Jokic. We'll hand it off to KCP across the top. Uses the Jokic screen. Now feeds the ball. Got a poked away by Schroeder. Found on the far side. One of the fouls. Schroeder to clean tip away. Shot clock winding down to five. And a kick ball will reset it to 14 on the pass up top to Murray. Got to train my eyes as well, PJ. I'm looking up the for the shot right, clock. Yeah, the two right corners where you have to look. And unfortunately for us, the right corner on that far basket in front of the Denver bench. You can hardly see it. It's buried as far as we're looking at. we got to go with the one in front of us here in the right corner. LeBron James and Schroeder, the first two out of the Laker lineup. Lonnie Walker, the fourth, and Rui Hachimura in. A little bigger. Denver will inbound. Porter has it at the top against Reeves. Now to Bruce Brown, the first sub for Denver. Drives on Reeves. Got the whistle. Shot caroms off the rim. No good. Bruce Brown, a really good veteran pickup. We'll head to the line, 6'4", fifth-year man out of the University of Miami. Excellent pickup, and he's starting to shoot better. He's really struggled from the three-point line in both of the first two series, but putting the ball on the floor, he does so many other things, Bruce Brown. You call it not a, not a good, an excellent pickup. Bruce Brown hits the first as we check in with George Sedano. Testy, during the last time out, I was behind the Lakers bench, and Darvin Ham, their head coach, was pleading with them about boxing out because of those offensive rebounds that the Denver Nuggets were getting, as P.J. mentioned earlier. He said, we're just standing around watching, guys. We've got to get active on that end. And then on the offensive end, D'Angelo Russell and A.D. were talking offense, particularly Russell telling him, hey, when I flare out to the corner, they're not guarding me. Get me out there every time. So those were the conversations in that Laker huddle, Kesty. Thanks, you, George. Uh, A.D. made, or rather, Bruce Brown made both free throws for Denver. A.D. on the bench for L.A. Rui Hachimura stripped by Contavious Caldwell-Pope. 26-14, Denver, and they're running again. Down floor, Gordon, wing three, circles the rim. Another offensive board, Jokic went up strong and it knocked away. AD is on the floor. I thought he went to the bench. Here's Walker into the lane, deep, throws it up. He was out of control, lost it. Jokic coming the other way, left to right. Pitches it to Porter. One dribble up to the break, three-point line, no good. Offensive rebound, Joker, put back good. Killing him on the glass here in the first quarter of game one. Garvin Ham walking in front of us, back toward the Laker bench with a disgusted look. Just shaking his head. This is a kick, guys. Kick ball indeed. Call 28 to 14 in favor of Denver and the offensive rebound. Yes, they they missed to get the offensive rebound. I mean, the, the shots missed almost equals the offensive rebound. 18 rebounds so far for the Denver Nuggets. Feels like almost half of them on the offensive glass. Davis has it off the inbound. Davis backing down Jokic. Gets deep. Reverse layup. Jokic's got a hand on it. Here's the joker down floor for Gordon. Slings it into the corner and turns it over. Nobody was there. Yes, Michael simple, Malone was closer. The yeah, head coach. simple pass, and they would have had it right there. Just to finish up on that point, Denver's 12 for 23. Help me with math, Tessie. They've missed nine shots. 
This is how many offensive rebounds they have. How many? Nine. Nine? Yeah. So more. Wow, how about that? Nine out of 19 on the offensive glass. Here's DeAnthony Russell, D'Angelo Russell, rather. Puts up a shot from 14, missed it. The Lakers, meanwhile, are shooting less than 30% from the floor. Nuggets are running. A whistle as Aaron Gordon in the lane. Missed it. And a whistle and a foul called against the Los Angeles Lakers on a block at 3.29 to go in the first quarter. Let's see how quick they change that scoreboard testing. They used to how well they do it here. If, if that's correct, it's only the third Laker foul. That's probably an indication of how good defense they are not playing right now. Indeed. 28-14 to 14 Denver. 3.29 to go. First quarter. Crowd's been fired up all evening and in a hush right now. As Aaron Gordon goes to the line and converts the first of two. Big hand for Michael Porter Jr. heads to the bench for the first time. Five points, including a three-pointer in the early going. Rookie Christian Brown from Kansas replaces him. Gordon's second free throw is good. Denver 30, Lakers 14. He's making his free throws. Aaron Gordon has shot his free throws really well uh, in the Phoenix series. 77% in the postseason yeah. and 60 in the regular. Yeah, really incredible uh, improvement. Three bullet pass to the low box. Hachimura, great hands, made the catch and stuffed it. Yeah, he's uh, a, ha a handful for Bruce Brown down under. Rui Hachimura is big and capable of posting up when necessary. Denver by 14. Jokic against AD. Takes him into the post. Double comes over. Jokic turns. Finds the cutter down the middle of the floor. And Caldwell Pope scores it for Denver. Quickly, the Lakers down the other end. Lonnie Walker for three. Drops it home right in front of the Laker bench. They're running also. And I was going to say, Kesty, that's the problem. You don't double... Who's Brown in transition? <laughs> They're going fast here, P.J. Brown on the runner scores, 34-19 Denver. No defense whatsoever for the Lakers' transition defense. Here's Walker using the A.D. screen. Finds A.D. on the roll through his hands. Out of bounds, but they'll say last touch by Denver and will go into a timeout. If I'm Michael Malone, I'd tell Joker right now, don't reach in. He's stripped him that time. Don't take a chance. Let him get two points. I was just going to say, though, Kessie, to finish the thought, you double Nicola. Yeah, you might stop him from scoring, but guess what? He'll he is going to find the open man. <laughs> and they've been finding men. Every time. To the tune of 56% from the field. All Denver first quarter, 34-19, leading the Lakers. 2.23 to go. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indy. Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I think my battery's dead. With free battery testing and charging, AutoZone is here to help. Get in zone, AutoZone. What if I need a new one? We have the right batteries right here at America's number one battery destination. Get in zone, AutoZone. And what if I don't know how to connect it? No problem. We have a how-to for you at AutoZone.com. Get in zone, AutoZone. Restrictions apply. Finally, baseball is back. Swing into the season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience a game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every crack of the bat, every dribble down the court. Catch it all with Vivid Seats. Download the app or visit vividseats.com today. Vivid Seats. Experience it live. A lot of new enrollments, huh? Braylon, Braden. Monique's daycare is crawling with new arrivals. Hey, sweetie, are you hungry? She needs more early childhood educators. Did your socks slip off again? And a nap. Hey there, little guy. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Five Hour Energy wants to give you a $25,000 Eco Charger Electric ATV. Just buy any Five Hour Energy product, snap a photo of your receipt, and upload the photo at 5hecharge.com. You could win a $25,000 Eco Charger Electric ATV. 
sweepstakes ends June 30th. No purchase necessary to enter. For rules and how to enter without purchase, go to 5hecharge.com. Charge up your summer with 5-Hour Energy. Enter today. Kevin with you with Saturday Granger Studio. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals. Game 1 on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app. Bert Scott and Alan Hahn. Two New York guys doing a New York show. Weekdays at noon. WEPN FM. New York. Kevin Rich with you in our studio. If you missed it earlier, Victor Wembanyama, likely head of the San Antonio. The Spurs won the draft lottery. So go back to Kesty, PJ, and George. The Rue Pub in San Antonio said they would pay for everyone's drinks if they won the draft lottery. Kesty, PJ, George, that place went bat bleak crazy when the Spurs got number one. Hey, it may be, Kev, we can catch a flight down to San Antonio to your old haunts, PJ. I'm telling you How about what, that? they are driving around all over that city, beeping the horns, the river walk is jumping, and no question, don't misunderstand what I'm saying, fantastic for Pop. I got news for you, fantastic for Victor also, because he's playing for as good a coach as there is or has been in this league. Off the inbound, LeBron James tried to pass uh, quickly into the lane. Zach Zarba, our lead official, with a foul call against Denver. Third time that the Spurs have the number one pick. Of course, David Robinson in 87, Tim Duncan in 97. Both of those guys worked out. Okay, right? They worked out for uh, San Antonio. Yes, they did. And now Victor Wembenyama make it official on June 22nd at the NBA Draft. The Lakers inbound, trailing 34-19. James on the drive, gets aggressive, and lays it up and in. Yeah, see, I, I like it, though. Nicola didn't even contest him. This is not a shot-blocking team. You have the best shot-blocking team, I think, in the playoffs in the Lakers and one of the poorest in Denver. 34-21 Denver, two minutes to go in the first. Murray drives, nowhere to go, gives it to the aged Jeff Green, who passes on top to Jokic. Shot clock at five, Jokic on the drive, bumps into AD, extends the right arm, layup not there. James has it, tossed it to half court, but Walker never saw it, turnover. Here's Murray to the free throw line, swings it out to Brown on the wing, inside to Jokic and back to Murray, top side three, front rim no, rebound Los Angeles. That, was, that would have been the easiest assist that Ole Jokic had. Lakers try to dig out of this hole. Down as many as 16, down 13 now. LeBron going to back down Jamal Murray. Green thinking about a double. James turns the corner and scores easily against Murray. I just overpowered him. And again, not a shot clock blocking presence on the floor for Denver. Six points for LeBron. Lakers within 11. Minute to go here in the first. Murray to Brown, the rookie three. No. Rebound AD. Only thing he maybe didn't do well this year. He had an excellent year, Christian Brown. Doesn't shoot percentage-wise well from the perimeter. But LeBron wants to take over here. Back to the basket. Back and down Green. Now hits AD at the top. Drives right into Jokic and turns it over. AD and Jokic are tied up on one end. Brown on the other. Blocked by James. And it goes off the body of Brown and out of bounds to Los Angeles. Things now getting a little heated here in Denver for the Lakers. Trying to dig out of this deep hole. AD, you know, in, in college they call it the hook and hold. Testy. That's what AD was saying. That uh, Nicola had his arm underneath his, basically in his armpit, and he was holding him down. Uh, I'm surprised he's as upset as he was because I thought usually hook and hold. It's try, it's hard to find out who has the advantage. That time AD felt for sure that Nikola Jokic said Nikola getting a rest, and well he should. How many rebounds and assists and points? Twelve yeah. rebounds, five assists, eight points. AD's also going to get a break. Six points on two of seven. Jared Vanderbilt, one of the midseason acquisitions on the floor for Los Angeles. More length. Austin Reed pulled for three, missed it on top. Rebound, Christian Brown of Denver. 30 seconds to go first quarter. Denver by 11. Aaron Gordon front court. Dribble handoff to Brown, up top to Green, and back to Brown. Brown on top of the arc. Now drives into the lane and a whistle. And a wow. foul against the Lakers. Got away from him. I didn't see the foul on that Reeves. I guess it was. First in the last two minutes, I believe. That is correct. That'll be side out for Denver on the far left side. That is two fouls on Austin Reeves. Two big possessions here, Testy. I think even with the big lead, 
I want to keep it at double digits. You got an offensive possession and then one for the Lakers. Bruce Brown catching 2-3. Hits it. And there you go. Denver hitting another triple. 37-23 Nuggets. Denver got theirs. The stop would be big for Denver right now. This crowd's going to be electric either way. LeBron, the ball handler, with six seconds to go on top of the arc. Now inside against Murray. To the high post, spins, turns, uses the glass, and scores with three-tenths of a second to go in the quarter. Inbound, Denver will hold. The Nuggets, though, put up 37 first-quarter points against that highly rated Lakers defense and lead by 12. Yeah, LeBron got the switch he wanted. They did the handoff, and that got... Jeff Green off him. Jeff Green's bigger and stronger than Jamal Murray. As soon as he saw Jamal Murray, he said, I'm taking him in. That's the second time he's done that, LeBron James. LeBron scored the last six for the Los Angeles Lakers. Kola Jokic had a dozen rebounds in the first quarter for Denver, which leads 37-25 after one. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. You hearing this? It sounds like yeah, this is playoff basketball. Time to tap into playoff mode. That non-stop, claw your way to the top. Give it all you got type of thing. From inside the paint to outside the arena. Where did this come from? Everybody's got to get in playoff mode and stay in playoff mode. Every single round. I'm on the NBA around. playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, and TNT. Two guys drove to work. Neither guy wore a seatbelt. One guy got a ticket. One guy didn't. The same two guys drove home. One guy wore a seatbelt. One guy didn't. One guy made it home. The guy not wearing his seatbelt didn't. Don't risk it. Click it or ticket. Paid for by NHTSA. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Does your vehicle have over 75,000 miles? Get maximum high mileage engine protection with new Syntec full synthetic high mileage motor oil exclusively at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Right now, get five quarts of Syntec high mileage and a microguard select oil filter for just $34.99. Limit supply. Ask for Syntec high mileage at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Angie's list is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco move. Your words? Less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or to download the app today. With you in our Granger Studios, 12 minutes completing Denver. Jokic coming the other way, left to right. Pitches it to Porter. One dribble up to the break, three-point line, no good. Offensive rebound, Joker, put back good. Killing him on the glass here in the first quarter of game one. Darvin Ham walking in front of us back toward the Laker bench with a disgusting look. One of 12 rebounds for Nikola Jokic, nine on the offensive glass for Denver as a team. They're out-rebounding the Lakers 22-6. to The lead was 16 down 12. He's dropped the second, 37-25. Back to Denver. Here's Mark Chess, the Sherry Company. All right, Kev, thanks a lot. You got 22-6 on the glass, nine offensive rebounds. Jokic, half of his 12 rebounds on the offensive glass here, P.J., in this first quarter. Headed yeah, to the second He quarter. did, and this is the time that Denver sometimes worried about. They got Nikola Jokic with 43 seconds left in the first. They talk about the minutes without Jokic are always... A little more challenging, obviously, um, for the Denver Nuggets. We'll go with Green and Bruce Brown. Jamal Murray is on the floor. Christian Brown, the rookie. And Aaron Gordon on the floor for Denver as they attack the basket to our right. Hand off, Brown gets deep. Hot to Murray. Nice job. Blocked it on Brown's route to the basket. That could have been off the glass. I'd like to see that replay. LeBron James leading the offense for the Lakers. At the top, Dennis Schroeder against Green. Bounces it into the high post. Hachimura checked by Bruce Brown. Shot clock at 10. Switches twice. Puts it on the deck with the left hand of the mid post. He's doubled. They go for the steal. Hachimura keeps, spins, and hits. Tough jumper. Second time he's taken advantage of that height advantage. He just towers over Bruce Brown. They're going to have to watch that. I expect LeBron to be super 
aggressive right now. Well, they've got that deficit down to 10. Denver on the attack of 37-27. Jamal Murray at the top using his screen. Darts beyond the three-point line. Gives it up. Here's a drive. Wow. Green knows. Wow. And another offensive rebound and a fight for the rebound. And a loose ball foul on the floor is going to go against the Lakers. Well, Jeff Green, was, he got pushed pretty hard by LeBron going to the basket. He's no call. Fouls on Schroeder. His second... Side out Denver, Bruce Brown bent over at the waist, catching his breath, and now has the ball looking to trigger. Still looking. On the bounce pass. Oh, we got a foul before the entry. It's going to be interesting. I think he might have passed it. They'll review this. Vanderbilt. See whether it's going to be away from the play. Guarding Murray, who is coming up toward half court. Three officials will talk, and they are going to go and check to see. It's close. I, I, I thought he had passed it. The difference is obviously a free throw. Well, on the timeout, when we came back, let's check in what was said. Here's George Sedano. Yeah, Coach Ham, Kesty, was talking about controlling the things that they can control, particularly in transition. They're giving up these rebounds. Obviously, they're at a deficit at the moment when it comes to offensive rebounds and rebounds in general. But he said they got to stay focused in regards to boxing out and making sure that they grab those boards, Kesty. Thank you, George. Uh, what do you think? Uh, we're watching the replay here. I thought the foul was before. The inbound. There's the contact. That, again, it's not when we, it's when he blows the whistle. That's a good he point. just raised it, he just made the fist and blew the whistle. And I think Bruce Brown was entering the pass then. So if it's based on that, I think it's going You're to, right. Yeah. He fouled him when he still had the ball. But there's a the human hand. error. But he didn't, he hadn't blown the whistle. Of when yet. you see it and when you blow the whistle. Yeah. And I think that's what will come to pass. But George made an interesting point out of that timeout. It's compounded. The fact when you don't play good transition defense, it's generally because you're not matched up. If you're not matched up, you're not going to box out and be able to rebound. That's why they, any shots they're missing, they're getting the offensive rebound on them because most of them are occurring in transition. After review, the defensive foul by Vanderbilt took place prior to the release of the there inbound, making this an away from the play foul. Anyone on Denver can shoot the ball and get the ball free throw line instead. There you go. Rule well, they came in a couple of years ago. Good point. It's a point if they can make the free throw and never turn it down. Foul was on Jared Vanderbilt. Ironically, he fouled Jamal Murray, and Murray will be the one who's going to... Jamal Murray's time to step throw. up right now when yeah. uh, Jokic is on the bench. Murray, two for six to open game one. He missed two whole postseasons after his ACL pair April a couple of years ago as Murray hits the free throw, and now Denver will trigger from the far left side. It's great to see him back playing. Just some kind of the same things we said about... Clay Thompson, they, they had it so far to come back from with the injuries. Uh, and to see Jamal Murray back playing at the level he's playing is a great fight. Denver by 11 off the inbound. Here's Murray from the left. Shooter stays in front, gets him off his feet, now rises, fires, and connects. Murray hits the J. Again, you see the height advantage coming into play. Jamal Murray knows he can shoot over Dennis Shooter. He's got eight. The lead for the Nuggets back to 13. James backing down. Jeff Green outside Hachimura. Fakes the three. Steps inside the arc. Jumper no. Vanderbilt went for the offensive board. Got knocked in by Bruce Brown and takes it away. Here's Brown on a five on four. Brown to the rim. Finger rolls it in. Vanderbilt never got back to play. Because he's talking to the ref. He does that too often. Maybe they missed the call. you got to get back into play, especially when they're getting drilled in transition. Yeah, Bruce Brown off the bench with nine points, and now Walker turns it over as he's about to rise. Here's Brown in transition, gives it up, gets it back. 11 for Bruce Brown off the Denver bench. The lead grows to 17, and the Lakers call for timeout. So much for a problem when Nikola Jokic is on the bench. Everybody else is stepping up. Well, you said Jamal Murray had to step up. He did. And Bruce Brown, who signed a, a very team-friendly two-year, $13 million deal, he has come to play here in the first half for the Denver Nuggets, who lead game one of the Western Conference Finals, 44-27 over the Lakers, 10-12 to go in our second quarter. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Hi, I'm attorney John D'Agostino. If you've been injured, you need a lawyer who knows what you're going through. I understand how one accident can turn your whole world upside down. I've been there. As a kid, I played a lot of ball on these streets, and I always played to win. As a lawyer, I make sure my clients know they're getting a winner. Have you been told your case is a loser? Give me a shot. I'm a fighter. Someone who's going to swing for the fences to get you the money you deserve. I've been there. 
I now run D'Agostino & Associates, a personal injury law firm I built right here in New York and New Jersey. For over 30 years, D'Agostino & Associates has been helping accident victims get every dollar they deserve. We've recovered millions of dollars for people just like you. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino & Associates, a personal injury law firm that offers free consultation. And if you can't make it to us, we're going to come to you. I've been there. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino Law Fight Back. Where can you walk magnificent greens with the Manhattan skyline as a backdrop while you're lining up your next shot? Only at Skyway Golf Course at Lincoln Park West in nearby Jersey City. It's the finest public golf experience in Hudson County, an amazing nine-hole layout lined with flowering grasses, magnificent dunes, rolling fairways, offering fun and challenge at every hole. Visit their pages at skywaygolfcourse.com and see all that this wonderful course has to offer. Instruction, events, tournaments, outings, juniors welcome, senior discount. Skyway Golf Course is sure to make your must-play list of the Metro New York Golf Course. And go to their website, skywaygolfcourse.com. Reserve a tee time, skywaygolfcourse.com. Skyway features maximum variety with an equal mix of par 3, par 4, and par 5 holes. Landing areas are generous and visible, and most greens have collections and chipping areas to receive slightly offline approach shots. Skywaygolfcourse.com. That's skywaygolfcourse.com. Or... Right to inside our Granger studio. Let's go inside the numbers in that first quarter on the rebounding discrepancy brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Told you Denver had 22 rebounds to the six for the Lakers in the opening quarter. The plus 16 rebound differential is the largest in the first quarter of a playoff game since 1997. Jesse, PJ, George, back to you in Denver. Yeah, cleaning up on the glass 24 to 7 right now. And as PJ mentioned, the non Jokic minutes right now are being won by Denver. Seven straight points here at, into that timeout. Well, that's just gravy. I mean, they're literally used to having a deficit when he's on the bench and just making up for it when he's on the floor. You start getting outscored when Jokic is on the bench, you're in for a long night. Check in with George Sedano. Guys, I was behind the Laker bench just a moment ago, and that's as visibly frustrated as I've seen Darvin Ham in a long time, and I've done a lot of their games this season. He went out there and said to them, guys, I've been telling you, you've got to control what you can control, and here's the thing. The message is simple, he said. Play better. He repeated that three times, play better, as you see LeBron James playing better there and getting the layup. LeBron James takes it right to the rim, also asking for a little harm. He's got 10 points right now. The Lakers still trail by 15. He is the Laker arm. Back to the basket, dribbling Gordon. Rather Brown goes to his right, jumper is missed, rebounded by LeBron James. A little bit of a heat check there for Bruce Brown, but a good shot. Here's James into Murray, might have got a piece of him below the belt, passes off, now gets it back. James likes this matchup. He does, wants to back him down, passes out to Schroeder. He'll dart into the lane, takes two defenders, a wild pass, saved nicely by Walker. Shot clocks at five to Hachimura. He'll try a three and he'll knock it home. Rui has been on fire in the playoffs. He's shooting extremely well. How about 57% from downtown before that shot? He's got seven points off the bench for the Lakers. Murray tried to pass inside to Gordon. Got it knocked away at 9.02 to go in the half. Denver lead is still at 22 once with 17. I'm sorry, 12 once with 17. Jamal Murray's upset with himself. Aaron Gordon was open on the cut and he couldn't get him the ball. There's a lot of traffic there to get the ball through, though. Michael Porter into the lineup. Christian Brown will take a seat for the Denver Nuggets. Good minutes for Christian Brown. You don't have to do good things. Just don't do bad things when you come in off the bench. Well, now we got a whistle oh, against no. Lonnie Walker. The ball had this been might, inbounded. Might he was be holding it. Porter. It had been inbounded. I, I okay. saw it inbounded. They'll discuss. I was going to say, no, they're not even going to review it. Yep. That is number what one on Walker. down there at the other end? The, Darvin, first of all, is blocking half of it. <laughs> He's a big man to have in front of us as the inbound goes off of Vanderbilt out of bounds. You know, we're used to having coaches in front of us. Darvin hands Went right in front of us of down here, yeah. <laughs> Darvin goes down here. He's a little bit outside the box. Right? Human eclipse. And now we got a whistle, and who's this going to be on Denver? It's pointing the other way. Well, he's pointing the other way, but I don't know what the call is. 
The lay of game is the call. Oh, he must be reaching yeah. across and touched the ball. Yep. They don't call a tech on that. Now the crowd, you hear. Jared Vanderbilt reached across. How about that? So Jokic is coming Jokic in. comes in. Guess who comes in in front of us? Anthony Davis. He's watching. And he saw the Joker come in, and Vanderbilt heads to the bench. And all the watches in the stands that were given out lighting up red and blue. Everybody got a little, looks like a wristwatch, and it lights up red and blue. Inbound to Jeff Green. Finds Murray. Sends it back down the lane. Shot up Green. Not there. And A.D. snags the rebound for Los Angeles. Good pass from Jamal Murray. Jeff Green's got to finish that shot. Still down a dozen. Here's Schroeder behind the back to A.D. Floats it up from 12. Missed it. Boy, Denver has owned the glass on both ends. Jokic that time with his 13th rebound. A.D.'s had good looks and he hasn't made them. Here's Jokic driving. Passes off underneath. Lost it out of bounds. Jeff Green thought he was going to shoot it, so he was jumping in to get the rebound, and instead Nicola's pass went over and couldn't even reach back and catch it. A little bit of a miscommunication there. 8.21 to go, second quarter. LeBron James right up on the three-point line. Now inside, he's got that mismatch. Sends it out to Schroeder. Oh, he had James cutting to the basket, didn't find him. Goes to Walker, three, no, and Jokic with his 14th rebound of the first half. Johnny Walker, you better make those shots when the King is looking for the ball on the box. Jamal Murray using a Jokic screen up high, left of the circle, bounces it to Nicola against Edie, bounces him once. Oh, he tried the hook, got reversed, it got rejected rather by Anthony Davis. Never got out of his hand, he stuffed it right back into his palm. Schroeder bowls one over to A.D. who gets hit, missed the shot, he'll get to the line. There's Anthony Davis. We'll shoot a pair with 7.46 to go here in quarter number two. Foul's going to be on Porter. Perfect example of a player impacting play on both ends. Against, I thought, should have been three-time MVP. Nikola Jokic, AD stuffs it on one end, runs the floor, posts up under, and gets it. Michael Porter had no choice but to foul AD and put him on the line. First foul against Porter. First team foul against Denver in the quarter. Anthony Davis centering himself with some deep breaths. Just now looking at the rim. Shoots the free throw and hits the first of two. AD makes Caldwell Pope coming in. Yeah, PJ. AD makes this. Kesty and Lakers are back within 10. And this feels like they're down about it's 25. Funny, it? To be down 10 right now, uh, they're in very good shape. They have scored the last six points. Anthony Davis with another free throw for the Lakers. D'Angelo Russell checking in for Los Angeles. Maybe he's got to watch if they're going to have a 10-second call against him. He is taking his time. Puts up the second free throw. Got them both. And that lead is down to 10. Seven straight L.A. points. 44-34 Denver. 7.40 left in the half. Now, again, because of the free throws, they got to go against the half-court Laker defense. That's different than they've been doing. Jokic puts it on the deck against A.D. Got him and puts it up and in. Got the step on Anthony Davis. The Joker is in double figures. Those two, that's just going to be a duel. Neither one is going to shut the other one out. They're both just too good. 46-34, Denver Schroeder using the speed. Tried to hit James on the cut, didn't get him. Went through to Davis, who spins, a nice touch. Puts it up from eight feet and in for Anthony Davis. Yeah, kind of trading baskets right now, which Michael Malone's not going to be happy with. Denver Turn Davis, over. Jokic turns it over. Lakers have some numbers, three on two. James going to take it himself through contact against Jeff Green. Couldn't score, but LeBron James will shoot a pair. 7.02 to go second quarter. Yeah, Joker getting a little bit sloppy. He will turn the ball over. Usually doesn't matter as much. He'll get like four turnovers and have 12 or 13 assists. But again, right now when the Lakers are starting to feel good about the way they're playing, turnovers are the last thing you want to do. Nuggets did lead by 17. Lakers have it down to 10 and a timeout in Denver. 7.02 on the clock. Quarter two, game one. Denver 46, the Lakers 36. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Jessica, this is the happiest day of my life. Right up there with the day I bought my RV and insured it with Progressive. Man, I love that thing. There are a million fish in the sea, which I'm reminded of every time I bring my RV to the lake, but I vow to love and cherish you just as much as I cherish campsites with full electric and water hookups. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
Protect your beloved with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Finally, baseball is back. Swing into the season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience a game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every crack of the bat, every dribble down the court. Catch it all with Vivid Seats. Download the app or visit vividseats.com today. Vivid Seats. Experience it live. At the United States Postal Service, we're reinventing our network to help keep your business moving. With new shipping options to deliver better value, greater flexibility to conveniently reach your customers, more confident shipping with new informed delivery features, and new electric vehicles for a cleaner, brighter future. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. Delivering for America. Learn more at USPS.com slash moving forward. At Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are at the very heart of our mission. That's why this Military Appreciation Month, we thought you might want to hear a special thank you message from your friends and family. I want to give a shout out to my brother, Will, who is currently serving as a major in the Army. Happy Military Appreciation Month. Hi, I'm wishing my pops, retired Colonel Stephen Sheehan of the United States Marine Corps, a happy Military Appreciation Month. And from all of us here, happy Military Appreciation Month. Commitment connects us. Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. Kevin Rocha with you inside our Granger studio. Victor Wembanyama most likely headed to the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs win the NBA's draft lottery. We'll have reaction to that coming up on the Otis One Halftime Report. We'll also have reaction from Adam Silver when he was asked about the John Morant situation from over the weekend. I want to remind you, tomorrow we will have coverage of Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. It'll be the Celtics in the Heat. Coverage on ESPN Radio exclusively begins 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Mark Hester, P.J. Colosimo. Celtics Heat is also known as Kevin Winter versus George Sedano. Back to you guys. <laughs> well, speaking of George, he's up behind the Denver bench, Mr. Sedano. Yes, Testy. And I was listening to Coach Michael Malone of the Nuggets talking to his team. And he mentioned to them, hey, we held up to 40% in that first quarter. In the second quarter, they're shooting 57%. He says they got to do a better job, particularly with LeBron when he's driving he's got to see a crowd they got to make sure that they put bodies on LeBron and then get back to the shooters if he kicks it Kesty. PJ it's largely been LeBron against Murray just in a mismatch most of the quarter that's what it is Jeff Green's also had him for a bunch but they just do a little dribble handoff and he gets the uh, matchup that he likes and again going after Jamal is like going after Nicola you get the extra benefit if you do get fouls you got the guy that they can least afford to lose, Jokic or Murray, uh, possibly in foul trouble. And LeBron knows. LeBron's all in the share. And we remember so many first quarters or early right. games where LeBron tries to get his teammates involved as he misses the second one there. He realizes the night when, hey, teammates aren't here. I'll get involved right now. And that's what he's doing. James putting the pair. It's a nine-point game. Denver's led by as many as 17. Give and go. Brown against Schroeder. Bumps him. Puts up a shot. Won't go. And James the rebound. Because AD came over and altered that shot. Down nine. Here come the Lakers. 640 left in the half. James going to try to back down his former teammate KCP. Into the right mid post. Passes out on top to Reed. Square shoots. Three-pointer off the rim twice. Fell off to Porter. Denver will bring it up left to right with six and a half minutes to go in the half. Porter gets it from Jokic behind the screen. Three bounces off. James tips it to Anthony Davis. Denver really struggling against Laker defense right now. LeBron no look pass to D'Angelo Russell, whose three is off target. Rebound Jokic. 15 first half rebounds for the Joker. Stops on the three-point line. Nobody picked him up. He thought about shooting. Gives it up. Gets it back against Anthony Davis on top of the circle. Now pounds it into the deck. Gives it up to Porter. Behind the arc three. Bricks it to the left. Gordon tips it out. Another offensive rebound. Here's Jokic on top. His three is good. Extra possessions and Denver taking advantage every time. Michael Porter shaking his head. He can't let missed shots affect how he plays. There's a lot more than just making shots. 49-37, Denver by a dozen. Here's James against Porter. Takes him down to the baseline, under the basket. Pass on top to Reeves. Makes the three. Drives by KCP. Turns. 14-footer miss. James, great offensive rebound. And finds AD under the basket for a reverse jam. Really good job. KCP did a good job closing. 
on Reeves, forcing him to dribble the ball, but no one boxed out LBJ. 10-point game, 49-39. Denver still leading, coming up on five minutes to go in the half. Here's Joker, turns quickly on AD and stumps. What a spin move and a dunk. Jokic with 15 points, 15 rebounds in the first half. There's a little bit of Serbian quickness that maybe you haven't seen before. 51-39, Denver restoring the lead. 4.45 to go in the half. Reeves dribbles, dribbles through the lane, sends it out on top. Russell holding. Russell run, dribbling. Michael. Russell driving. D'Angelo fades, fires, and hits. Well, D'Angelo Russell on that bucket. Lakers back within 10. Four and a half to go. Bruce Brown off the bounce. Flips it up. Flips it in over Russell. 13 off the bench for Bruce Brown. See, the difference sometimes in transition also, Kesty, is AD hasn't had a chance to get back to the rim yet. He's matched up with Joker, so he's not back protecting the rim the way he normally is in the half court. It's an and one situation. I did not hear the whistle. They called the foul on D'Angelo Russell, and so Bruce Brown with a chance for three. Bruce Brown was thrilled to get to the rim and see no AD hanging around. Crowd goes silent for Bruce Brown. A couple of Miami Hurricanes on the floor. Bruce Brown converts the three-point play. We heard Lonnie Walker for the Lakers earlier. Larry Navy did some job this year, Jesse. <laughs> he did. This is Hurricane down in Miami, 54-41. And the NBA Miami team will be in the Eastern Conference Finals tomorrow. Russell, wild pass that saved by AD. Free throw line, bumps into Joker. Puts up a shot and missed it. Rebound number 16 for Jokic. Down floor, passes to KCP. One dribble, a three from the right, no good. Rebound tapped out, and Reeves this time gets fouled oh, and made the rebound catch, and it's on Jokic. That's a tough call right there. I, uh, I just want to see the good guys play. Ben Taylor, they had the rebound. You just let that go. You don't, you don't need it when it doesn't affect the play. Only That's number really, one really on Jokic. Tough call. Watching the replay, it's even a tougher call because he was right even with them. They were both next to each other. That's not a good call. 54-41, Denver by 13. 3.50 and counting to go in the second. Denver's three-point shooting, or lack thereof, is keeping Lakers a lot closer. Schroeder turns it over. Here's KCP in transition to Murray. Feeds the rolling porter for the two-hand slam. 15-point Denver lead. Well, they are feasting on those turnovers, Testy. Bruder gets around Caldwell Pope, finds Anthony Davis in the lane, and he's able to drive it home. Talk about tempo. Here's KCP on the other end. Flips it, missed it, rebound tip, saved by Porter, but turns it over. Bad play, very bad play. Bruder to Russell, hits Hachimura, pulls in transition, and lets it hug the rim and scores on a... 17-foot jump shot for Rui Hachimura. Michael Malone's really upset. Michael Porter did a good job hustling for the rebound, and then just a weak pass into the lane. That got the fast break going for the Lakers. 11-point Denver lead. We're under three minutes to go in the half. Jokic hands it off to Murray behind the screen. Three on its way and good. Jamal Murray with his second triple. The third nugget in double figures, and the lead is 14. Well, that'll solve the problem, but the Nuggets still only at 36%. I say only. If they were making their threes, this game would be way more one-sided than it already is. Russell got stripped on the baseline by Murray out of bounds to L.A. at 2.33 to go in the first half. They can just watch a simple lob to A.D. right here. A.D. and Jokic there. Oh, he passed inside to Reeves with Pop Porter napping and put it in. Michael Porter has improved defensively, but he's still not a good defensive player. That's just way too easy there, Jesse. 59-47, 12-point Denver lead in possession, 2.15 to go. Murray gets the handoff from Jokic, sends it back to the Joker on top, fakes the three on Rui, drives into the lane. He's grabbed by Hachimura, and it'll be an on-the-floor foul at 2.12 to go in the half. I think I see a five up there, so they're going to shoot two. In the penalty are the Lakers, and Jokic goes to the line as LeBron James will check in between free throws. It's a lot more challenging for Michael Porter Jr. now. He is a starter. I always said when Christian Brown was on the floor, you don't have to do good things, just don't do bad ones. When you put a young guy on the floor as much as Michael Porter's on the floor now as a starter, it's more challenging. Yeah, he can make open shots, but you got to play defense every possession. you got to box out your man. you got to... 
compete on the glass and you got to pass the ball. His ball skills are not good enough yet. So as good a player, good young player as Michael Porter Jr. is already, he still has a lot of room for improvement. That's a, a good sign if you're a Denver Nuggets fan. LeBron in, AD out, Joker at the line, made the first, makes the second, 17, 16, and six assists. And we still have 2.10 to go in the half. If his teammates were making threes, Kessie, he'd have to triple-double yeah. at half. Good point. Good point. 61-47 Denver. Lakers with it. We're now at two minutes to go in the half. LeBron sends it to the corner. Hachimura up top. Reeves. Ball fake and a drive and a floater. Blocked from behind by Porter. KCP has the loose ball. Into the front court. Finds Porter on the left. Finds his spot. Shoots his three. And connects. A steal on one end, a triple on the other. Denver back to the 17-point lead. Very nice to Michael Porter to listen to us, Kesty. Minute 38 to go in the half. Denver threatening to run the Lakers out in the opening half of game one. Here's Davis poked in the eye by Jokic. AD stopped immediately as he got hit, and Zach Zarbo will signal the foul number two on Nikola Jokic. Yeah, and Nikola reached over to say, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry not to hit him in the eye. You reached in there. That's two fouls on you. Nicole, that's a bad mistake. Fourteen foul against Denver. This will be side in for the Lakers. Reeves has the ball. Gets it into A.D. Puts it on the deck once. Now rises left to the circle and connects on the jumper. 16 in the half for Davis. Yeah, Denver's gotten the comparison between first quarter and second quarter is not there. They played intelligently in the first quarter. They Murray, have not in the second. Driving, Murray lifting, Murray connecting. 66-49 Denver. We said this was the number one defensive-rated team in the playoffs. The Lakers getting torched here in the first half as A.D. through contact scores. They see A.D. slow to get up, so a quick five on four for Denver. Gordon Euros. Gordon puts it up, missed it, tapped by Jokic, tapped again. Another offensive rebound. Here's Porter, free throw line jumper right of the mark. Jokic looked to save it, goes down hard as Hachimura was also fighting for Rui. it. You wouldn't hear the whistle from here, but I think we could see a loose ball foul on Rui. Foul is going to be against Hachimura. It is a loose ball foul into the free throw line. We'll go Nikola Jokic. 17 points, 17 rebounds in the first half. Rui picks up his third. Well, I tell you, as well as they're playing, Michael Malone is not going to be hurting for things to talk about at halftime. Uh, defense is basically non-existent so far here in the second quarter, and the turnovers have really hurt him in the second quarter. Jokic waiting at the free throw line. They're stubbing in. I don't know what, why it's taking so long. Yes, this first one is good. Now Bruce Brown comes in for Denver. It looks like Michael Porter must yeah. be going out. Ronnie Walker is going to check in for the Lakers. Corresponding move. Hachimura with three fouls. Going to head out as the Lakers go small here. Yeah, both teams go a little bit small. Again, for only 47 seconds left. That could, should be a two for one for the Lakers if they manage the uh, end game. Denver 9 for 9 in the first half. Make it 10 for 10 at the free throw line in the first half. Jokic 19 and 16. Jesse, how about their last two first halves? Denver, they had 81 in the first half against Phoenix in game 6. Up 68-51 here. Here's Walker with a 3. And Lonnie Walker connects from the outside. Tell you what, they left uh, Denver a little bit of time. Uh, Jamal Murray's walking it up. I thought Jamal Murray might go and try and make a 2 for 1. 30 seconds to go in the half. He bounces it across to Jokic. Back to the basket, hands it off to Murray. Free for the medium range jumper. It's good. Those two play off each other so well. Yeah, they do, and it's great sign for Denver. My, uh, Jamal Murray, the last six minutes, has really come alive for the Nuggets. Nuggets with 70 first half points against the Lakers. 17 seconds to go in the half, about six seconds difference on the shot clock. And no foul to give. Here's James, pass in the corner, Russell is three, didn't even touch the rim. Shot it too soon, Kesty. Nuggets have six seconds, here's Murray already in the front court. Murray puts it up, square shoots, and connects with one second to go in the half. A 72-point first half for the Denver Nuggets. AD at the horn, his half-court heave is no good. Jokic with 19, 16, and 7 in the first half, and Jamal Murray had 17 points. Big mistake right there. Was that D'Angelo Russell? Who took the yes, last shot? Russell. That's a bad mistake. They had plenty of time. They could have run it down another six seconds. Shot it too early. Jamal Murray. That just puts icing on the cake. 
I'm telling you what, 81 in the first half against Phoenix in game six, 72 in the first half against the Lakers in game one. That's pretty good offense. Denver had 37 in the first quarter, 35 in the second quarter, and at halftime they lead game one 72-54 over the Lakers. Now we're going to turn it over to Kevin Winter in the studio. Here's the AutoZone halftime report. Chesty, PJ, George, it's time to say goodnight to that check engine light with the free AutoZone Fix Finder service. It'll help troubleshoot the liquid cause of your light for free. Restrictions apply. Get in the zone to AutoZone. 72-54, the Nuggets putting up 72-37 in the first, 35 in the second. And Nikola Jokic is on pace for a 38-32 in 14 game. He's got 19 points, 16 rebounds, and 7 assists. The Denver Nuggets have 13 offensive rebounds. They are out-rebounding the Lakers 36-13. to They're killing them on the glass. Up next on the AutoZone Half the Report, the San Antonio Spurs, for the third time in their history, will have the number one pick in the NBA draft. It will be Victor Wembenyama of France. We'll hear from Victor. We'll also get reaction to the John Morant situation. All coming up next on the Autos on Half the Report. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app. The NBA Finals. Hearts are racing. Heads are pounding. No time to rest. No time to look away. It's unbelievable. Because in the finals, everything changes. Oh, it's good. Fate collides with destiny. Today's stars become tomorrow's inspirations. And four wins turn the end of a season into the start of a legacy. The NBA Finals begin June 1st on ABC. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Improve visibility and save $8 instantly when you pick up a pair of Bosch Icon wiper blades at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Bosch Icon Premium Blades can help you see better and drive safer. And our professional parts people will install them for you for free. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts today or visit OReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. For the ones finding new ways to ensure the job always gets done. For the ones wearing many hats. For the ones who are hands-on even from far away. And the ones keeping business moving forward. We are Granger, offering professional grade industrial supplies, plus real time product availability and access to experts ready to answer your toughest questions. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Mmm, your morning coffee. Hot, delicious, and oh so comforting. But by the third or fourth cup, your stomach might not feel so good. If that sounds like you, replace your afternoon cup with 5-Hour Energy. It's perfect for those times when you're feeling coffeeed out. Remember, coffee in the morning, 5-Hour Energy after. Your stomach will thank you. Discover 5-Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5-HourEnergy.com. The NBA on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Kevin Richard with you inside our Granger studio here on the AutoZone Halftime Report, which is brought to you by the makers of 5-Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5-HourEnergy.com. Then 72 points in the first half. They lead the Lakers 72-54. The second pick will be made by... The Charlotte Hornets. And that means that the number one pick in the 2020. <laughs> NBA draft goes to the San Antonio Spurs. I'd have the same reaction as well. That's NBA Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum, and that now means the San Antonio Spurs will select Victor Wembenyama, the prodigy and the generational talent from France. Brian Windhorst was in Paris to talk to him. Victor, you found out a couple of moments ago you'll be following the footsteps of David Robinson, of Tim Duncan, great French players Boris Diaw and Tony Parker. What are your emotions right now? I can't really describe them, you know. It's just my, my heart's beating. I got every, everyone, I, I love everyone I know around me. It's a really special moment I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. There's American fans and NBA fans across the world are still learning about you. What is the NBA, what are the San Antonio Spurs getting with Victor Wembanyama? Uh, a team player. I'm going to make everything to, to win as many games as I can. And I, I, I'm trying to win it 
the ring ASAP, so be ready. So the San Spurs were tied up in knots. I talked to their general manager, Brian Wright, today. He's been not able to sleep for a week. Now that you know where you're going, what do you think you can take the Spurs? Where do you think you can take the Spurs next season? I'm going to try and bring my, my talents here. Uh, I love Texas. I've been there before. I'm really, really happy, and I really can't wait to, to, to meet the fans and to meet, hopefully, the team I'm, I'm about to join in, in June. That is Victor Wembanyama, the presumptive number one overall pick in the June NBA draft. I wonder if he's ever been to Paris, Texas. Anyway, the draft will be on ESPN Radio coming up in June. Meanwhile, Commissioner Adam Silver was a guest, and he mentioned with Malika Andrews he was shocked when the Ja Morant video came out over the weekend. Second time that in less than three months that Ja has been seen brandishing a weapon. Adam Silver with Malika Andrews, Stephen A. Smith followed him. My reaction to that is that Ja Morant is in a world of trouble. Because when I saw Adam Silver just now, it reeked of a commissioner that is telling us he sat down face to face with this superstar, discussed with you how serious the matter was, discussed with you the potential punishment that lied in wait, and that he thought, he was assured, that you realized the magnitude of the situation. And we know this because he said it, and then followed up by saying, so when I saw the video this weekend, I was shocked. Because he, could, he couldn't believe and never surmised that literally weeks after suspending John Moran for eight games, costing him over $600,000, putting a Nike deal, a Power Aid deal in jeopardy, that we would be sitting here this soon after that conversation. So now the commissioner, to me, guys, has essentially said, I have to make sure I send a message. And a message is coming once this investigation concludes. If you recall, Gilbert Arenas was once suspended 50 games when he had guns, firearms in the locker room. It's going to be a long off season for John Moran. Kevin Winter with you up next on the Autos on Halftime Report. We get you set for the second half in Denver where the Nuggets have an 18-point lead over the Lakers. You're listening to Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with NYC's youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you can get $2,500 bonus, earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. Receipts ever. Donate at carsforkids.org and your car can be picked up tomorrow. donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. 40 days up to 40 pounds. Say it with me, 40 days up to 40 pounds. With the warmer days of spring approaching, you need to get rid of that oversized sweatshirt and reach out to NJ Diet. You will lose a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days. They use your hair, saliva, and blood work along with bioenergetic scans to personalize natural solutions and supplements that get your body into the fat burning zone so you can finally lose that weight. Then, NJ Diet it uses DNA info to help you keep it off. You will be slimmer before this summer with the help of NJ Diet. And best of all, it's contractually guaranteed. You are fully supervised the entire time to make sure you're burning fat and not just losing water. And you even get the doctor's personal email and phone number. Locations throughout New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, or available worldwide with live online video consults. Call 855-5NJ-DIET or schedule your consultation today by going to NJDiet.com. That's NJDiet.com. 40 days up to 40 pounds. 40 days up to 40 pounds. 
When you support City Harvest, you do more than just provide hundreds of millions of pounds of food to millions of hungry New Yorkers. You feed hope for a kid up in Parkchester. You feed confidence for a first-in-her-family Queens College freshman. You feed community for folks in Canarsie Park. You feed compassion for retired Staten Island nurses who continue to serve. You feed strength for office workers in Manhattan. When you support City Harvest, you feed good. Support us at cityharvest.org. NBA on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. I'm Kevin Witcher on the Autosun Half Time Report. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. This is your exclusive home for Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. I'm here because I believe in this team and I'm excited about the new adventure here in New York. Got with ESPN FM News. Turns it over. Here's KCP in transition to Murray. Feeds the rolling point for the two-hand slam. 15-point Denver lead. Well, they're feasting on those turnovers, Testy. Tame, three turnovers for the Lakers, but they've been able to turn them into points. The Nuggets are out-rebounding Denver 36-13. to And at the half, they lead game one by 18. Our first half recap brought to you by the makers of 5-Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5-HourEnergy.com. Second half in Denver is next. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio the ESPN Network. Broken bricks, falling fences, damaged doors, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> of course. It's incredibly strong and 100% waterproof and bonds, well, virtually everything. While you're at it, look for Gorilla Tape, a heavy-duty double-thick duct tape, and Gorilla Super Glue. Great for all your quick fixes and repairs. There's also Gorilla Epoxy, Gorilla Wood Glue, Gorilla Construction Adhesive. Of course. You get it. If you can break it, Gorilla can fix it. <laughs> for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Progressive presents Spectator Tips from Flo, who knows nothing about sports. First, talk about retired players with reverence, even if they did crush your dreams when they played. Next, whenever people get excited, just yell, it's about time. <laughs> Works in any situation. Finally, when someone mentions protecting the QB, tell them how Progressive protects you round the clock. Uh, that has nothing to do with sports. Uh, uh, not true? Uh, anyway, bundle your home and auto to get round the clock protection with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Cut on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. At the United States Postal Service, we're reinventing our network to help keep your business moving. With new shipping options to deliver better value, greater flexibility to conveniently reach your customers, more confident shipping with new informed delivery features, and new electric vehicles for a cleaner, brighter future. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. Delivering for America. Learn more at USPS.com slash moving forward. At Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are at the very heart of our mission. That's why this Military Appreciation Month, we thought you might want to hear a special thank you message from your friends and family. I want to give a shout out to my brother, Will, who is currently serving as a major in the Army. Happy Military Appreciation Month. Hi, I'm wishing my pops, retired Colonel Stephen Sheehan of the United States Marine Corps, a happy Military Appreciation Month. And from all of us here, happy Military Appreciation Month. Commitment connects us. Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. NBAstore.com, the official online store of the NBA, and the world's largest selection of officially licensed NBA fan gear, with unique designs by Fanatic, Nike, and all the latest styles for every NBA team, plus one-of-a-kind products and authentic collectibles. Shop now and get today's special offer, NBAstore.com, a Fanatic's experience. The NBA on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. I'm Kevin Richard. That'll do it for us on the AutoZone Halftime Report. Dive deeper into the numbers. 
Rebounds for the Lakers, 13. Rebounds for Nikola Jokic, 16. All you need to know. Denver, 72. Lakers, 54. Back to Ball Arena with George Sedano and P.J. Colissimo. Here's Mark Kestesher. All right, Kev, thanks a lot. And, uh, P.J., one thing that was noticeable in that entire first 24 minutes was the energy with which Denver brought. They were on the run at every transition opportunity, and they owned the glass. Well, we thought that was going to be a challenge for the Lakers and a big key. Michael Malone told us that before the game. We've got to rebound and run, and they certainly did that. They almost ran the Lakers out of the building in the first quarter. Meanwhile, uh, you heard the numbers that Kevin just mentioned. 16 rebounds for Nikola Jokic. Georgia, historical first half for Mr. Jokic. Absolutely, Kesty. Jokic joins Kevin Garnett as the only players in the play-by-play -play area from 1996 and 97 to record 15 points, 15 boards, and 5 assists and a half. Now, KG did that in a regular season, so Jokic is the first player to do that in any half of a playoff game in over 25 years, Kesty. Pretty amazing. And, PJ, before we get the second half underway, Lakers down 18. Uh, their biggest comeback in a playoff game at half is down 18. What adjustments they got to make? Well, I thought if you're a fan of uh, Mark Keller, uh, catch 22, they got to put the ball in the basket so they can get back and set up their half-court defense. They're missing. They're not a good transition team, so they're not matched up. Even when Denver misses, they got no chance of boxing out because they're not matched up. The bulk of these offensive rebounds are on misses in transition. So if they would either A, put the ball in the basket, or B, put a body on somebody from Denver to keep them off the offensive glass, that would go a big way toward getting them back in the game. Well, Darvin Ham, the Lakers coach right in front of us, sticking with his three guards to open the second half with Russell and Schroeder and Reeves, AD and LeBron. That's the other point, too, Kesty. D'Angelo Russell and Austin Reeves have got to help out. They've given, wow, Russell lost the ball, Gordon. Forced a turnover against Gordon, knocked it away as it went across the side. Hey, the uh, stanchion clocks have been fixed, so time of score and, or time of game and shot clock now above the basket per usual. And just to finish, Austin Reeves two for seven, Dennis Schroeder one for six, and one of Austin Reeves was compliments to the Bank of California. So. <laughs> Here's LeBron James out on the right wing. Back to the basket. Now turns quickly on Porter. Got deep. Goes with the left hand and scoops it up and in. You're going to see a lot of that. Michael Porter Jr. does not want to deal with Mr. James. Aaron Gordon harassed by Schroeder again into the front. Schroeder's really getting after him yep. defensively. It's keeping Denver from getting into their offense early. Jamal Murray around the Jokic screen. Three for three. Lights it up. Jamal Murray free from the Jokic screen. A triple. I'll tell you what. Jamal Murray getting going mid-second quarter is really important for Denver. Murray's got 20. Here's a turnaround jumper. Russell got the roll after it hit the rim and fell through. Well, neither coach is happy with the trading buckets. Michael Malone more so because he wants his team to, again, get some stops so they can get their running game going. The last thing he wants to do is get in a half-court contest with the Lakers. Denver up 17. Here's Murray. Darts beyond the arc. Shoots the three and connects again. Well, Murray doesn't look sick if he's a little bit under the weather. 23 points in game one. Well, they should expose the rest of the team <laughs> to whatever he's got if he's under the weather. Remember, he had a couple of 50-point games in the bubble. Back in 2020, here's James, top side three, rainbow miss, offensive rebound deep to Reeves, beats LeBron, LeBron goes deep, leaves it back for Anthony Davis, who flushes home. There's so many offensive rebounds, that just doubled their total right there. Wow. It's his second offensive rebound for the Lakers. Denver still leads by 18, 78 to 60, nearly two minutes gone by. Murray takes it at the top, left-hand dribble against the smaller Schroeder, flips it up to Jokic, back to Murray, shot clock at four. Murray back to the basket, high post, turns, he in and out, rebounded by Davis. That was the heat check, he's telling Ben Taylor, the official, hey, I got fouled. Schroeder into the front court, right side, give and go to the top, tried to get it back to Davis, but the bounce pass too low, Anthony may not have been ready either. Yeah, AD could have caught it, but it would have been a good catch. Jokic fires it down floor to Gordon, who no, missed an no, open no, three. No, no, no. Reeves the rebound. They tried to catch the Lakers napping, but you better make it if you take that one. Yeah. Here's Russell spinning in the mid post and scoring. And Michael Malone, probably thinking along with you, did not like that quick no, jumper he, and calls for time. Well, he doesn't like the defense. They haven't stopped him at all. One time they got a missed shot. 
Reeves got the offensive rebound, and, and they converted that also. So he hates the way they're playing. And think of how many. The only transition was that one there, and Aaron Gordon burped up an inappropriate shot. So Michael Malone's got a lot of things to talk about in his timeout. And he's doing that now. His team is up 16, but a timeout in Denver. 9.33 to go, third quarter. Game one score. It's the Nuggets 78, the Lakers 62. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Hi, I'm attorney John D'Agostino. If you've been injured, you need a lawyer who knows what you're going through. I understand how one accident can turn your whole world upside down. I've been there. When I was a kid, my father was up on a bulldozer when a brick wall collapsed. It almost killed him. The doctors had to amputate his leg, and he had to learn to walk again, while my mother went to work as a waitress just to pay the bills. I know what you're going through. I've been there. I now run D'Agostino & Associates, personal injury law firm I built right here in New York and New Jersey. For over 30 years, D'Agostino & Associates has been helping accident victims get every dollar they deserve. We've recovered millions of dollars for people just like you. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino & Associates, personal injury law firm that offers free consultation. And if you can't make it to us, we're going to come to you. I've been there. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino Law Fight Back. Where can you walk magnificent greens with the Manhattan skyline as a backdrop while you're lining up your next shot? Only at Skyway Golf Course at Lincoln Park West in nearby Jersey City. It's the finest public golf experience in Hudson County, an amazing nine-hole layout lined with flowering grasses, magnificent dunes, rolling fairways, offering fun and challenge at every hole. Visit their pages at skywaygolfcourse.com and see all that this wonderful course has to offer. Instruction, events, tournaments, outings. Junior's welcome. Senior discount. Skyway Golf Course is sure to make your must-play list of the Metro New York Golf Course. And go to their website, skywaygolfcourse.com. Reserve and tee time. Skywaygolfcourse.com. Skyway features maximum variety with an equal mix of par 3, par 4, and par 5 holes. Landing areas are generous and visible in most greens. Have collections and chipping areas to receive slightly offline approach shots. Skywaygolfcourse.com. That's skywaygolfcourse.com. Kevin Orchard with you inside our Granger Studios. Time now for Did You Know? Brought to you by Geico. Switch to Geico today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to geico.com to get a rate quote and get started seeing how much you can save. So 72 points for the Nuggets at halftime. Did you know the Nuggets have scored 140 or more in a playoff game four times? Twice in the NBA and twice in the ABA. That's just in case. Kesty, PJ, George, back to you in Denver. All right, thanks a lot, Kev. And this is a team that was one of the four out of the ABA into the NBA, still trying to get to their first NBA Finals. Big lead here, George Sedano. Yeah, big lead, but Michael Malone, as P.J. mentioned, was not thrilled about that start there in this particular quarter. Told his team three straight times, your bleeping heads weren't in the game, as I'm cleaning that up, obviously, uh, for radio. But he was on them about making sure that they focused out there. He felt like they were completely lost out there to begin this quarter. Out of the timeout, it's going to be Jokic backing down Davis, mid-post into the lane, turns, and the short jumper is good for the Joker. Uh, A.D. goes that. Nicola with finesse and speed. Nicola goes at AD with size and strength. He just wailed on until he got close enough to make the shot. 6'11", 285. He's got about 30 pounds on AD. He's a ginormous man himself. That looks like a zone. And over that zone, a shot for three is a miss by D'Angelo Russell. Might have just been a, a sagging man, but... Comes Denver with the 18-point lead. Jokic with a big wow. two Euro wow. shot. Didn't call the foul, got to the basket anyway. Well, he didn't feel it because it was shrewd and fouled him, but still. 20-point lead for the Nuggets, the biggest here of game one. There was transition, too, Kesty. Russell, 16-footer, good for L.A. Kesty, one thing we forgot to mention at halftime. How about Denver in the first half? 50, 40, 100. 50, 40, 90 is usually yeah. the line, right? 50, 40, 100 is pretty strong. 52, 44, and 100 right now. And here's Jokic with another dime hitting the cutting KCP for the bucket. KCP tried to sell it and get the and one. 
Jokic is two assists away from another triple-double. 20-point lead, Denver. Eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. LeBron back to the basket. Pass on top to Davis. Push shot good from 13 feet away. I'm not going to say they're playing as well as they can play because you're talking two of the best players in the history of this league. But AD and LeBron are doing their part. They don't have a lot of help right now. 22 for Davis, 13 for LeBron. Jokic right now will pass to the left wing to Porter. A deep two is good. Michael Porter Jr. making it a 22-point Denver lead. Rather, 20-point lead. 86-66. Schroeder, pass out to A.D., his jumper. Good. So just trading baskets. The half foot Michael Malone just turned around, put both hands over his eyes. Jokic, pass inside to Gordon, who gets fouled. He was looking for the triple-double on that one. Foul's going to be on A.D., his first. Before the shot, side out of bounds right in front of us. But what they have going for them now, obviously, is a 20-point lead. But they're just trading back and forth. They can't stop the Lakers. And, you know, that does not make him happy for the future of, of this series. they got to get back to doing what they do well. Murray drives through the lane, passes it in. KCP is three, no good. Davis the rebound. Quick outlet to Austin Reeves, who struggled here in game one. Reeves fakes the pass in, sends it out to Schroeder on the wing. Seven minutes to go in the third. Schroeder drives lob for AD. Got fouled and won. No, they're going to say he was fouled before he oh, tapped it into the boy. basket. Wow. That's a major break for the Nuggets there. Oh, Darvin Ham can't it believe it. Ever. Second foul on Jamal Murray. Ben Taylor is trying to sell that call to Darvin Ham. Suffice it to say, uh, Darvin's not buying it. For this team foul against Denver off the inbound. Reeves has it. Nine to shoot. Dribbles to the left. He's got plenty of space. He'll take the 18-footer and he'll knock it home. Bad communication again on defense by the Nuggets. There's two guys on him. They both left. They didn't talk. Who's staying? Who's leaving? Back-to-back -back Laker baskets. Still down 16. Murray passed to Porter. Now in the hands of Jokic. Swings it over to the right wing. KCP floater, 14-footer. It's good. KCP puts Denver up 88-70, to and there's another triple-double for Jokic, his 10th assist here in Game 1. Unbelievable. Here's Russell spinning baseline. Jumper miss. Jokic for another rebound is 17th. He's got six triple-doubles this postseason alone. 12, 12 in his career. 12 for his career. KCP elbow jumper is good. And the man he passed with number 11, Will Chamberlain. Pretty he's good for the pass. How about that? They finally got a stop, Testy, and immediately come down. I'm assuming they just put up on the board that was another triple-double. I don't even know why they stop and clap. That's just business as usual for the Joker. 11th assist on that basket just made leading into the timeout. The record for triple-doubles by centers in the playoffs. Jokic passed Chamberlain the other day, and now he's two past him with 12 in his career. I Timeout. That would be Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain. 90-70, <laughs> to 70, Denver leading the Lakers by 20, nearly halfway through the third quarter. Timeout. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Will they find a home? Sponsored by Geico. Susan has always wanted to live in a chateau. I like a certain je ne sais quoi. While Jake is more into the Cape Cod style home. It's a classic look. Compromise is tough, but these two won't have to compromise when they bundle home and car insurance with Geico. It's easy and they could save even more. In the end, Susan and Jake found a Cape Cod style home where they will only speak French. Bonjour, je tame, uh, merci beaucoup, and uh, cordon bleu. You'll get better with time. Bundling without compromise at Geico.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Make your tires shine with superior coverall tire shine at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Our professional parts people can help you choose the right cleaning supplies for your vehicle. Finish any great detail job with superior coverall tire shine. Right now, get two bottles for just $18. See store for details. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Broken bricks, falling fences, damaged doors, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> of course. It's incredibly strong and 100% waterproof and bonds, well, virtually everything. While you're at it, look for Gorilla Tape, a heavy-duty double-thick duct tape, and Gorilla Super Glue, great for all your quick fixes and repairs. There's also Gorilla Epoxy, Gorilla Wood Glue, Gorilla Construction Adhesive. Of course. 
You get it. If you can break it, Gorilla can fix it. <laughs> For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Carrie, is this schedule the most updated? There's a wedding season rush at Dr. Iona's dental practice. You're fully booked this week. We can try and squeeze you in next Tuesday. She needs a dental hygienist to unveil fresh yeah. smiles. <gasps> How long has Three been under the UV light? Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. With you inside our Granger Studios. Full reaction to tonight's game tomorrow morning. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max start your morning with them. They're followed by Greeny with Mike Greenberg. 6 a.m. to noon. That's how your mornings go on ESPN Radio on the ESPN app. Tomorrow night, we'll have game number one. Eastern Conference Finals. Celtics in the Heat. Conference starts at 8 p.m. Eastern time. The lead is 20. It was 6 to go in the third. Denver's already got 90 points. How's that? It's not great, Bob. Cassie, PJ, George, back to you in Denver. Hey, top seeded Denver Nuggets uh, playing like the team. If you're just hopping on to see Denver, this is what they do. Jokic and Murray are lethal, and they have legit pieces around them with Contavious Caldwell Pope and Porter, and then you bring Bruce Brown off the bench. And that may be the big difference right there. I mean, obviously, they're just playing better, period. But Bruce Brown with 14, Michael Porter Jr. with 12, and uh, LeBron and AD supporting cast not nearly as productive. There's a pass for James went through his hands, but Schroeder picks it up in the corner. Back to LeBron, and he cans the 20-footer. Lakers down 18, still 5.45 to go in the third. No, you're going to laugh, Chesty. Uh, there's a lot of time yeah, left. And I will laugh. Those two guys are not missing a beat. Denver had better either start playing defense or just continue this offensive fireworks. It's an NBA game. Anybody can make a big comeback. Yeah. Here's Bruce Brown at the top. Near the high post, four to shoot. Gives it up to Jokic. He'll launch the three, and he'll connect. 26, 17, and 11 and counting for Nikola Jokic. 93-72, Nuggets. Here's Davis, deep two. Good at 5-10 to go in the third. You get yours, I'll get mine. They're getting three and you're getting two. Yeah, that's well, that's, that's the difference. Anthony Davis up to 26 points here in the opener as Caldwell Pope drives, missed the layup. Davis rebounds, quick outlet James. LeBron front court accelerates into Gordon and lays it in. Still tough at age 38. Well, I've been saying all night the Lakers' transition defense has not been good. Denver's hasn't been much better. When the Lakers have gotten stops and pushed the ball, they've been able to score for the most part themselves. 93-76 Denver, four and a half left in the third. Jokic putting together a historical game one. We'll send it outside to KCP, drilling the three. Another assist for Jokic, his 12th. Well, you made the point, Kessie. If they keep making threes, they're going to be all right. But the Lakers are not making their threes, but Michael Malone is not happy with their defense. Back to a 20-point game, and Reeves drains a triple from on top, 96-79. Lakers down 17. Who said the Lakers are not making their threes? <laughs> It is only the uh, sixth triple, but 40% from three. Yeah, more time. Hard to keep up. Denver's closing on 50%. They were three for three for nine at one point. They're so now 10 for 21. KCP had it knocked out of his hands by Russell right in front of us out of bounds. It'll be Denver basketball. A couple of substitutions. Reeves and Schroeder out. Austin, Jared Vanderbilt coming in. Austin Reeves is upset like any shooter. He finally got one to go. They take him out. Shooters and shooters, man. When they see it go through, they want to get another one. And stop my roll. Jeff Green in the game. Receives the inbounds. Gives it up to Brown. Finds KCP on top for three. And he drills it. The former Laker, Contavious Caldwell Pope, has 16. I don't think he'll admit it when we talk to him, but I got to think he's enjoying playing against his former team. Going to ring with the Lakers in the bubble three years ago. 20-point lead, Denver. Here's LeBron, baseline right into the lane, a little rip through as KCP tried to defend him coming through the lane. Crowd didn't like the call. Foul on Contavious Caldwell Pope. It's one of those fouls, I think, in addition to the personal foul called by the ref. I think he also got LeBron's shoulder in his face. One of those fouls that hurt you more than the guy you fouled. As James goes to the line, let's check in with George Sedano. Testy, I was behind the Lakers bench earlier, and Darvin Ham was pleading again with his team. Guys, that's a heck of a team over there. We're making it way too easy for them. 
And Nikola Jokic, as you mentioned, Kessie, putting up a historic night, is now tied Oscar Robertson for the most 25-point triple doubles in a single postseason in NBA history. KCP, as you mentioned, having a great game. When I spoke to Michael Malone about him recently in that Phoenix closeout game, he said, KCP has been so good for us. He's got the heart of a champion, and he's bringing that experience and leadership, which he didn't have. KCP told me he learned that experience with the Lakers, guys like Jared Dudley and Rajon Rondo. Bruce Brown with the jam there, Kessie. Bruce Brown after the free throws, saw the rim and attacked it and threw it down with the right hand. Wow. That brings them to their feet here in Denver, back to a 20-point nugget lead. Both coaches are disgusted with their team's defense right now. James Cassidy for the wing, P.J., had it tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Los Angeles. Neither of these teams got to the Western Conference Finals playing defense like they're playing tonight. LeBron, expressionless face as he comes out and heads to the bench. You know inside he's seething. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say. They, they won on the road in each of the first games in their first two series. And they're down 20 here late in the third quarter. Game one in the Western Finals. Reeves has it over to Hachimura. Sends it in the corner to Walker. His three rattles out. Jokic, rebound number 18. Now his playoff record for rebounds is in trouble tonight. I don't know about his overall record. Here's Brown, and it's an offensive foul inside as Reeves got knocked down by Contavious Caldwell Pope. Shot from Brown didn't go in any way. I, it was I don't off. like that call at all. That's a college call. Uh, two dribbles. You know, two steps after you pass the ball, right. you run over a you guy. You see that a lot. Yeah, a guy standing underneath the rim. I mean, I, I just don't care for that. Lakers down 20. In possession, 2.50 to go in the third. And a defense here in Denver. We haven't seen much of it. Walker bounces <laughs> in the corner to Vanderbilt. Very good point, Mr. Kessler. Back up top to Walker. Over to Reeves on the left. Five to shoot. Rises from 15. Missed the elbow jumper. And who else? Jokic, rebound number 19. Down floor to Bruce Brown. Brown dribbling on the perimeter. Now inside. Goes behind Jokic. Scoop shot. Missed. Underneath the basket. AD's got the board for L.A. Into the front court. They're poking it away from twice. Still AD able to keep it. Finds Hachimura in the left corner. He'll drive. He'll spin under the basket. Oh, what a pretty move behind the back. Reverse layup. Wow. After uh, Darvin Ham, he's not going to have to look at the tape. But after he and his staff look at the tape, I think we're going to see more Rui Hachimura minutes going forward. be interesting to see if he goes more Rui in a starting lineup in game two. We'll see. Here's a steal in the lane. Walker. Lonnie for the Lakers to Hachimura. He'll pass back to Walker. Minute 50 to go in the third with the Lakers trailing by 18. Walker peeks, peeks back at Darvin Ham who says, speed it up. They go to Davis with 10 at the top. Two jabs against Christian Brown to the lane. Got contact, put it up, and gets the roll. Anthony Davis a chance at a three-point play. Once again, the Lakers convert a turnover. The only thing, if you want to be critical of Nikola Jokic tonight, that's his third turnover. Is that 12 assists to balance it? Four to one turnover assist. Good. Not bad. Meanwhile, the foul is on Christian Brown, his first. Anthony Davis hasn't been his fault tonight. 12 of 19 from the field. 28 points, the leading score on either team. Still minute 39 to go in the third, trying to get it to a 15-point game on a free throw, which is up and in. And guess what we have, Testy, also at the end of this quarter and beginning of the fourth, we have the non-Jokic minute. That's right. Which again will be... A challenge, I think, for the Nuggets. You should fight what they did in the first half. Excuse me. Nicole is still on the floor here with 90 seconds to go in the third. Here's Murray. Bounces it back to Jokic. Covered. Wheels. Now attacks AD. Stops his dribble in the mid post. Turns face and fires. Connects. 28 for Jokic. Literally, there was nothing else he could do, so he said, I have to shoot it. 103-86 in favor of Denver. 109 to go in the third. Hachimura, baseline right against Murray. Crossover dribble. Gets inside and muscles it home. Exactly right. right. Brilliant. Brilliant. Really making a good case for more minutes. And Darvin Ham certainly appreciates that. 13 points on 15 bench minutes for Hachimura. Down to 15. I know it sounds silly, but it's down to 15. They were down 21, the Lakers. Here's Murray in the front court. Eight to shoot. Flips to Nicola. Tapped in the air by Vanderbilt. Steal by the Lakers. 40 seconds to go in the third. Reeves on the three-point line. Crossover. Mole pulls up. Got fouled. Couldn't roll home. 
the shot. He smacks his hands hard, but he'll go to the line for two with 36 seconds to go in the third. The best players on Denver right now coming up with these turnovers that are allowing the Lakers to creep close. Closer, I should say. Close, probably not accurate. First free throw by Reeves is in. I don't want to say it's a nervous crowd because they have uh, led for almost the entirety be. of the game. Uh, it should be because they know Joker's coming out shortly. Three throws good. 13-point game. Denver's lead down to 13. I don't think there's enough time for them to push it for two. Oh, Jamal oh, Murray pushing it hard. Murray through the lane. Passes on top to Brown. Bruce holding. Goes to Murray on the left. 28 seconds to go in the third. 13 seconds to shoot in the possession. Look at this pick and roll we're going to have with the... Murray and Jokic right here. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray on top. Five to shoot. AD's got Murray. Step back three on its way. No good. Rebound. Jokic tips, but Vanderbilt rips it away. Ten seconds to go in the third. Lobs it all the way down court. Davis makes the catch. They land on his back as Murray went up in the air. And Davis will shoot two with six seconds to go in the quarter with a chance to get it down to 11. When they're able to play downhill get stops and run, both teams have really thrived, and the Lakers more so in the third quarter now. Only mistake, if you want to call it that, that left Denver 6.7 seconds to get the last shot of the quarter. The 12-4 run currently, Davis at the line, hits the first of two with 6.7. Lakers have a foul to give. Don't know if... Uh, Coaches are communicating that with them right now, but 6.7 seconds. Denver's going to come quickly. L.A. has the foul to give. Anthony Davis, 12 of his 30 points have come in this third quarter. Little comeback late third. The Lakers were down 21. They're down 12. Davis, another free throw up and in with 6.7 to go in the third. 103-92 Denver. Jokic, 94 feet away, will inbound to Murray. Quickly back to Jokic with four. Jokic dribbling three-point line with three. Jokic with one, will rise, contested triple. Goes home at the end of the third. A rainbow finding the pot of gold. And it's back-to-back 30-point triple-doubles in the postseason for Nikola Jokic. I'm sorry, that was not the shot they wanted. They wanted someone else handling it and running down. Nikola Jokic literally had nothing he could do. He made, that, that was close to 30 for shot with Anthony Davis draped all over him. Unbelievable. 31 points, 19 rebounds, and a dozen assists. We go to the fourth, Denver 106, Lakers 92. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. We're recording this progressive commercial on a real boat to let people know that when you bundle your home, boat, and other vehicles... What was that boat? Progressive saves you money, Jamie. Why are we doing this on a boat? We were going for authenticity. We're going to the city? Authenticity. You mean Atlantic City? But we're not in the Atlantic. Are we? Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Discount not available in all states or situations. The all-new NBA app is happening and has you covered from coast to coast. And live tip-offs at your fingertips and highlights right as they happen. Catch every can't-miss moment before, during, and after the game. And behind the scenes like you've never seen. All access, all the time. All in one app. Because if it's happening, it's happening in the new NBA app. So get the app today. At Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are at the very heart of our mission. That's why this Military Appreciation Month, we thought you might want to hear a special thank you message from your friends and family. I want to give a shout out to my brother, Will, who is currently serving as a major in the Army. Happy Military Appreciation Month. Hi, I'm wishing my pops, retired Colonel Stephen Sheehan of the United States Marine Corps, a happy Military Appreciation Month. And from all of us here, happy Military Appreciation Month. Commitment connects us. Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. Anywhere fans go to cheer on their team, there are behind-the-scenes MVPs, ensuring everything is game day ready. We see you, Joe, fixing seats so every fan can enjoy every game. And Allie, who keeps her stadium running smoothly from the moment the first game starts to the last play of the season. 
At Granger, you're our MVP, and we're always here for you. With supplies and solutions for every industry and 24-7 customer support. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. With you inside our Granger studio. What an end of the quarter for Nikola Jokic. Jokic 94 feet away will inbound to Murray. Quickly back to Jokic with four. Jokic dribbling three point line with three. Jokic with one will rise. Contested triple. Goes home at the end of the third. A rainbow finding the pot of gold. And it's back to back 30 point triple doubles in the postseason for Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic has 31, 19, and 12. It's a 106 92 lead. And as you go back, to Mark Kestesher, P.J. Calissimo, and George Donato. Guys, if it weren't for that Nikola Jokic three, we're talking about a Laker good close to the quarter. And still, Kev, uh, Michael Malone was not happy, noting to Lisa Salters in the in-between quarter interview how the Lakers shot 75% in the quarter. They gave up 38 points. If they weren't making their three, Denver shot six for nine that quarter. They also shot 70%. They, they could be almost behind now. He's really concerned, and guess what? Testy, unless he goes away from his normal pattern, we're now entering not the twilight zone, but the non-Jokic minutes. That will be a problem. And that leads right to what Kevin said, as Jokic will start the fourth quarter on the bench. Huge, huge basket. Would have been 11 points. The Lakers down after being down as many as 21. Instead, Jokic with a little three-point kiss to end the quarter, heads to the bench. Denver leading game one, 106-92. Lakers will bring it up. LeBron James is on the floor, directing traffic from on high. Goes to the left to Hachimura. Hand off and a pass to James. 10 to shoot. LeBron up top. Traffic bounces in and it's turned over. A steal. Ooh. Here comes Murray. Got by James. Flips it to Gordon. Down the lane. Oh, had a chance at and one. It falls off the front rim and he'll go to the free throw line. OBJ saying the pass was too low. Was it his pass or his catch? He's talking James to Austin Reeves. Yeah, he's talking to Austin Reeves about it right yep. now. He actually tried to take a take foul. LeBron tried to That's grab him right there. Yes. He figured it was better than what was going to happen, but they didn't get the end one. So, and then with Aaron Gordon on the free throw line, despite his playoff improvement, not a bad foul. Aaron Gordon, who spent his first six and a half years with the Orlando Magic. First free throw, no good. The 106 points by the Nuggets is their most ever scored through three quarters of a playoff game in franchise history. I can make Darvin Ham too happy as we had the number one offense rated team in the postseason against the number one defensive rated team. Big free throw right here. Missed them both. Yep. So better than the take foul. Exactly <laughs> right. LeBron James will bring it up. Lakers down 106-92. Just underway fourth quarter. Game two of the Western Finals Thursday night here on ESPN Radio. LeBron dribbling it. Now inside the arc, backs down against up. Murray. He's like that matchup, bumps him again. Into the mid post, turns and a whistle and a foul called and the Lakers with a chance for three. Michael Malone's asking for the five second back in call. That's what I thought they were going to call in the whistle. You may be right. And I'll tell you what, Testy, if there's one team you do not want to let hang around, it's a team that has LeBron James and Anthony Davis on the roster. And one opportunity for LeBron James on the foul by Jamal Murray, who, by the way, has four personals, and James converts 22 for James on the three-point play. He's got four personals, and he's about to get LeBron James driving in his mug three times in the next two minutes. And we're back to an 11-point game right before Jokic hit that three. Green pass for Murray, nearly turned it over. Murray goes back and gets it. Has Vanderbilt defending. Green setting a screen. Checking the clock is Murray. He's defended by James with three to shoot. Nowhere to go. Has to hoist one, puts it up, and connects at the shot clock horn. Jamal Murray in game one has 26 on the triple. They're doing it with their offense. That's a dangerous way to live, the Denver Nuggets. 109 to 95, Denver. Hachimura drives deep into traffic and scores. He's been terrific off the bench. He got 15. Yes, he has. And I'm telling you, the Nuggets are in trouble, Kesty. Oh, more on that in a moment. 12-point game. Double-digit lead most of the way, but defense is the problem. Here's Christian Brown, the rookie, wide open. Three-pointer miss. Walker skies for the Laker rebound. He's wide open for a reason. 
Been struggling from distance all season as James goes over the top to Hachimura. Back out to Reeves. Struggling from outside. Reeves connects on that one. 109 to 100. And all of a sudden, the Lakers are down nine. Timeout Denver. Jubilant Lakers hopping off their bench. Michael Malone, A, needs to talk to his team. B, he needs to extend the rest time for Nikola Jokic. It's going to be interesting to see whether he decides to put him back in right now. Timeout with 10.09 to go in game one. Denver, at one point, led this game by 21 points. It's down. Well, the scoreboard now says eight up there. 108-100. They may have taken a point off. They gave Jamal Murray a three that I thought his foot was on the line, so they may have checked that. Right now, the scoreboard in-house, they did take a point away from Murray. It's an eight-point game. Denver 108, Lakers 100, 10 9 to go. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with NYC's youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you could get a $2,500 bonus. Earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. prices at an all-time high, our donors are now getting highest receipts ever. Donate at carsforkids.org and your car can be picked up tomorrow. Accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. As the official cerveza of Major League Baseball, Corona allows fans to enjoy the finer life of sports. Throughout the 2023 season, Corona will be giving fans an opportunity to win tickets to the World Series. Don't miss your chance to cheer on your favorite team on the biggest stage. For complete details, including how to enter, see official rules at constellationbrandsweepstakes.com slash the big game. Relax responsibly. Corona Extra Beer imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois. The sweepstakes is in no way sponsored, administered, executed, or produced by any MLB entity. Major League Baseball trademarks and copyrights are used with the permission of Major League Baseball. Kevin, what's with you inside our Granger studio? The two off-the-court stories today. Doc Rivers fired as the head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. Victor Wembanyama is likely head of the San Antonio Spurs win the draft lottery. Over the weekend, the story was John ja Morant the Memphis Grizzlies appeared to be brandishing a weapon on Instagram, on social media, for the second time in less than three months, Adam Silver with ESPN's Malika Andrews. Honestly, I was shocked when I saw this weekend that video. Now, we're in the process of investigating it, um, and we'll figure out exactly what happened to the best we can then. It's, again, it's the video's a bit grainy and all that, but I'm assuming the worst, you know, and, uh, but we'll, we'll, fi- we'll figure out, you know, exactly what happened. There. It's going to be a long off season for John Morant and Adam Silver. And if you recall, Adam Silver met with John Morant before he issued that eight-game suspension. Mark Chester, P.J. Calissimo, back to you and George Sedano in Denver. All right, Kev, thanks a lot. Where the uh, Laker deficit is down to eight. And guess who just hopped off the Denver bench, P.J.? Well, Nikola Jokic coming in. It only says... A minute and 51 of clock time, but that extra time out there by Michael Malone was to get more rest time for Nikola Jokic. He's back on the floor. AD, interestingly, is not. Here's Murray. Is They've got the much smaller Walker defending Jokic. Here's Porter. Oh, tough corner three with Reeves right in his shorts. Porter knocks home a big shot. I'm writing that one down. That is a huge oh. three by Michael Porter. I mean, they had a major mismatch in the mid post. Anthony Davis going to check in next dead ball. There's LeBron James on top for the Lakers. 
Jokic defending. Now Porter comes over to defend. Nine to shoot. LeBron will pass. Dangerous pass. Bodies full. Whistle. And a oh, foul is going to go against the Lakers. Jeff Green did a really good move rotating in like a D-back. Actually like a, an outside linebacker to get in there. And I guess he got pushed because he was going to intercept the pass. Jordan. Again, we're screened. It's the basket away from us. Plus, it's close to that Denver branch, which you have no chance to see. Jared Vanderbilt got tagged with the foul. He's muttering to himself as he heads to the bench. And he should. That's not a good foul. AD is in. Here's Murray with the Nuggets leading by 11. Pass to Porter on the left. Got LeBron James covering him tightly. Back out to Jokic. 10 to shoot. Nikola drives to the three-point line. Steps inside. Pass to the corner. Jeff Green. Ball Stop take it. on the three. Jokic went careening across the baseline and a whistle before Green went for the dunk and a foul against the Lakers. Austin Reeves and Joe are talking on the about push. It. Yeah, I'm watching. They pushed him from the ball. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you shouldn't do that. He pushed him with two hands from the back that you really don't do that. No. Jeff Green was about to either dunk it or just throw a little soft lob to Nikola Jokic in front of the bench, and Austin Reeves pushed him with two hands. From the back side. Third foul on Reeves. Second team foul. Side out Denver from the far right side. Brown gets it into Jeff Green. Green to Jokic at the free throw line. Ball above the head. Guarded by Hachimura. Puts it on the deck. Drives. Floater off the rim. No. And rebounded by Davis. Quick outlet. LeBron James. Half court. Nine minutes to go in game one. Lakers down 11. James dribbling. Bounce to Davis. Free throw line. Inside. Hachimura grabs and stuffs. The Lakers are shooting north of 80% here in the second half. And yeah, they're just cutting them up. Picture Draymond Green catching that roll to the basket against Golden State. That's what AD just did and makes one more pass for an easier shot. Denver's lead back down to nine with eight and a half minutes to go. Here's Jokic with it, left of the circle. Goes to Porter, comes around the top, jump pass in the corner. Jeff Green, open three, flashes it home. Wow. The 36-year-old Jeff Green with a big hit. He has really been struggling with his three-point shot. He was 24% coming in as AD is blocked. No foul. Bruce Brown, who's got some good hops, went up to contest. And the foul is going to be on Brown of Denver with 8.15 left in the fourth. I see they're either scoring or getting fouled every play. I mean, unbelievable. Davis will set up at the free throw line. 31 points here in game one. Jeff Green against the Phoenix Suns were, was 4 for 13 from the three-point line. That's how big that three was right there. Two big threes. Porter, you marked down. Deep in the corner was harassed. And Jeff Green there shooting under 25% for three from the postseason. Davis gets one back at the free-throw line. They boo him for a number of reasons. But one, they don't forget... That inbound game-ending three-pointer in the bubble in game two of the Western Finals. And well, they shouldn't. Davis second is good. Nine-point game again. Denver 114. The Lakers, oh, they were quick on the score trigger. It's a ten-point game. 114-104. Back in the half-court games, and that does not suit the Nuggets. Not that they're not a good. Oh, really? be careful. You're going to get a chase. Jokic received the pass. He's out on the perimeter, and Hachimura, way too aggressive, got tagged with his fourth personal. That's the team third, unless they haven't changed the board yet, Testing. They only had one foul committed in the third quarter. That's three already on the Lakers. Usually they're on the other end of that foul discrepancy. Jeff, Jeff Green has it off the inbound, gives it to Jokic. Eight minutes to go. Jokic backs up. Now hands it off. Murray nearly lost it with five. Murray on the drive. Murray into the lane. Scoop shot good. Jamal Murray with 27. Boy, Jamal Murray, the all-star, is here tonight, and they need all of it. Matches his jersey number with those 27. Back to a 12-point lead. Hachimura from the left. Drives the free throw line. Got up in the air. Got it knocked away by Porter. Porter stayed in the play. He went for the fake, and then he caught up with him. Talked about him being a better defender of late. Here's Murray, double team, baseline left. 14 to shoot, sends it out, gets it back. Against Lonnie Walker, they'll isolate left side. Nine to shoot. Puts his shoulder into Walker. Can't get by him. Into the mid post. Turns, fades, fires. Yep, another one for Murray who's up to 29. Timeout, Los Angeles. And the Nuggets go back up 14. Boy, they're doing it with offense, and it's spectacular offense. Michael Porter Jr., two huge plays. That's three out of the timeout. Testy took the lead back up to 11. And then after he got, he went for the fake. 
and Rui drove by him, couldn't take the three. He stayed in the play and got a huge block. Credit Michael Porter Jr. with two big plays. The Lakers are the outstanding shot-blocking team in the NBA. Tonight, the Denver Nuggets have seven block shots. 118-114, or 118-104. Denver with a 14-point lead over the Lakers and 7-14 to go in Game 1. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Two guys drove to work. Neither guy wore a seatbelt. One guy got a ticket. One guy didn't. The same two guys drove home. One guy wore a seatbelt. One guy didn't. One guy made it home. The guy not wearing his seatbelt didn't. Don't risk it. Click it or ticket. Paid for by NHTSA. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. Call term provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-511-3535. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes, are overweight, or have high blood pressure. Term providers help thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance. To buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you, all you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-511-3535. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800-511-3535. Big Lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds, too. Call 800-511-3535. 800-511-3535. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Get your vehicle ready for spring during Clean Car Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Pro X1 exterior cleaning and detailing products provide professional results and show quality shine for your vehicle. Right now, pick up Pro X1 Snow Foam Car Wash 2 for just $15. See store for details. Pro X1 exclusively at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. You're with you inside of Granger Studio. I know during the last break I played Adam Silver regarding John Moran. Honestly, I was shocked. That was Adam Silver with Malika Andrews. Well, John Moran has just issued a statement. I know I've disappointed a lot of people who have supported me. This is a journey, and I recognize there is more work to do. My words may not mean much right now, but I take full accountability for my actions. I'm committed to continuing to work on myself. That's John Moran. Statement Adrian Wojnarowski has posted it on his Twitter account. Send you back to Denver. Here's Kessie. Kev, I'm all about second chances, even third chances. But words are hollow. He's going to have to, John's going to have to, for a long period of time, back up those words. There's no excuse for it. And he's looking at a a long suspension, most likely to start next season. Wow, it's disappointing. Especially in today's United States, I hate to say it. Uh, you can go wrong in a lot of places. Going wrong with guns is about the worst one you can go to right now. And Ja is so important to that franchise. What he's done to that franchise, all the steps forward they've made in the last couple of years, boy, they are taking giant ones backwards now. All self-inflicted. 7-12 to go here in the fourth quarter. The Denver Nuggets leading the Lakers 118-104. Time for the Lakers to respond. Here's James out of the timeout. On top, back to the basket. Bodies flying. Schroeder. Got knocked down Look by Murray at five. Him. Huge call. Michael Malone's beside himself. Got to get uh, Jamal Murray out. Still 7.02 to go in the game, and Jamal Murray with 29 points. I can't believe, well, they might. He's looking to the assistants. Maybe they could challenge. I think they're saying the foul was on here. Michael's screaming at his assistants when we challenge. Uh, you know why? We haven't shown the replay. Well, they're still looking. The officials are looking in. Zach Zarba now last second. There they go. Here comes the replay. Calls the timeout. They're going to take a look at it. He's upset. He's all over Eric Lewis Michael right Malone said he was grabbing my guy's jersey. That's what he was trying to motion out to the oh, officials. Suffice it to say, this is an enormous replay review. So as Jokic was locked up with Schroeder, Murray came over oh. to help out. No way. I don't know if Schroeder no just way. took a dive there. 
They're going to go to review. No, you sure didn't take a drive. You don't push them down. A.D. A.D. knocked him down. The question is whether Jamal, watch Jamal's hand if they show another replay. His right or left forearm, he used that to fend off the ruling punt. Ruling on the floor is a defensive foul on Murray. Denver's taking a timeout to challenge the ruling on the floor. Dennis Schroeder was setting a baseline screen, and A.D. was going to come off the screen. And Jamal Murray was play, matched up with A.D., he kind of extended an arm. That's the only way he committed a foul. Watch what happens if, they, if they'll give us another replay. We're waiting on the replay while we you wait call. for that and while they look at it. You call Mr. Green your play-by-play -play counterpart? <laughs> Tell him you want an ESPN review? Tonight's attendance here at Ball Arena in Denver, 19,520. Brought to you by Vivid Seats, where you earn rewards with every purchase. Vivid Seats Rewards is your ticket to more tickets. Vivid Seats, life happens live. Mark Kestisher, P.J. Carlos. George Sedano, our producer, John Madani, Al Rosenberg, our engineer, just getting underway at the Western Conference Finals, and the Nuggets looking to take game one. It's a big call because Jokic and Murray have combined for 60. This would be Murray's fifth personal and would have to roll out of the game at 7.02 to Together, go. Together, they're 24 for 34, 71%. It's good. They obviously need them on the floor. Russell Wilson sitting across from us. He'd take a 71% completion That's percentage, wouldn't he? My former wouldn't neighbor in Seattle. i got to yell across to him. There. <laughs> Tell Mr. Corgan, here we go. we got a replay right, right We're now. watching the replay. Jokic had that left arm extended. If anything, it wouldn't be on Murray. It would be on Jokic, right? Well, they take that right now. What would it be on Joker? Three? Uh, Joker be his has third. two. So we'll here see. Here we go. Oh, Zach's going to talk. Took the headsets off. The three officials get together. They could opt to go to headsets one more time. They'll check timing plays as well. And then Zach Zarbu is really good at opening up the microphone and And again, Kevin Scott is in Secaucus in the replay center, so he's also chipped in on this. Boy, I tell you what, this is one long conversation. Does Murray have five fouls or not? They will go You're to right. the headset one last time. They'll check timing. Check if it's a reversal or not. Denver Nuggets using their challenge with 7.02 to go. Fourth quarter, game one of the Western Conference Finals. I don't know if the refs did it on purpose, Kesty. If you think back, they took a long time to inbound the ball. I think they, they knew they were contemplating. They shouldn't, though. Yeah, no, you have an sure. amount of time for the coaches to make a decision. They waited an inordinate yes, they did. amount of time. But did they get it right? We'll find out. All right, Here Zach Zarba takes the headset off. And go. he'll punch the mic on. Well, he's going to describe it first to the table and then tell the rest of us. Well, Michael, uh, Ben Taylor's telling Mike. After Michael. review, the defensive foul is going to be placed on Nikola Jokic as he pushed Schroeder to the ground. The contact between Davis and the Murray was marginal. Denver retains their timeout and put a personal foul on Jokic. Oh, interesting. They get the timeout even though it's still a foul, but on a different player. Correct. Well... Enormous decision for the Denver Nuggets. I'm interested to know post game if Michael Malone and the coaches did the review to get the foul off of Murray or if they thought it was a foul on Anthony Davis. No, they just wanted the foul, they wanted off, the foul Mur off, off Murray. Murray. I don't think they even went to one more iteration, which would have been to put it on the phone. They did take a long time to look at it. That allows. Jamal Murray to stay in the game. Well, our TV counterparts are all laughing over there, so whatever, I'm going to say whatever Mr. Van Gundy said. <laughs> He's a huge fan of reviews. Well, the inbound, Anthony Davis looks for three and hits. 6.55 to go in game one. Lakers down 11. Well, we got the foul removed from Jamal Murray, but got three points to pay for it. Latavius Caldwell Pope will lead the offense, gets it to Jokic. A 31 point triple double in game one. In the mid post, passes out. KCP catching two three. Is good. KCP the triple, restoring the lead to 14. How about who's showing up in the fourth quarter for the Nuggets? Porter, Green, KCP with huge threes. 19 for Caldwell Pope. 
They go to Anthony Davis outside the mid post right. Backs down green, turn around, fade shot. No James, an offensive board. Sends it out to Schroeder on the left side, and he knocks home a three with 6.08 to go. Joker's upset with himself, and he should be. He didn't box out LeBron, nor did he get the rebound. That cost him three points. Denver's lead back to 11. Jokic got deep. A whistle before the shot. Anthony Davis fouled Jokic the first time and then came back and tried to foul him again, but they already waved it off. And AD picks up the foul. That is number two on Davis and the 14 foul. Now that's the 14 foul is obviously the bigger part of that. So 5.58 to go in the fourth quarter. Denver will inbound on the right sideline into Jeff Green. Hands it off to Jamal Murray. Murray around the high Jokic screen. Left-hand dribble against Shooter. Stops him in the high post. He goes to the right side. Now lifts. Tough jumper. No good. And a late whistle will go against the Lakers. Schroeder tried to defend the entire time. Um, will the Lakers use a challenge? Garvin's looking at him right now. There they go. They are. Garvin Ham looking down the line. We'll call for the timeout. Who ended up with the ball, Kesty? Because if it gets overturned, whoever got the rebound is going to get the ball. That's a good question. Took the shot and missed the shot. I did not see who got possession of it. We're to look at it right now they, while we get ready to go to the promo. They roll the ESPN replay enough. Murray, no foul whatsoever. It's over. Roy on the floor is a defensive foul on Schroeder. The Lakers have taken no, a timeout to no challenge way. the ball. No way. All right. well, he, I mean, he bumped him with his chest before he left the ground. Look at this. Ball went out of bounds. It's going to be Laker, be Laker ball. basketball. Right? I say overturn and Laker ball. We'll find out from Zach Zarba in a moment. And while we wait, let's pause 10 seconds for station ID. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. This is 98.7 ESPN, a good karma brand's radio station. WEPN FM, New York. Mark Kestisher, P.J. Carlissimo, George Sedano, Ball Arena in Denver, 5.48 to go fourth quarter, opening game of the best of seven Western Conference Finals, Denver 121, Lakers 110, and right now the Lakers challenging a foul against Dennis Schroeder. I'm surprised it's taken as long, Kesty. I spoke too soon. I, the only contact was when Schroeder fought over the screen. His chest hit Jamal Murray's chest. Once Jamal Murray planted his left foot and started up with the jump shot, there was absolutely no contact whatsoever. They're taking a long time to debate it. I think it's going to be foul overturned and worse. The rebound went out of bounds. I think it's going to go to the Lakers. Zach Zarpa had a... Uh had three three officials together, conference with Eric Lewis, Ben Taylor. Now he goes back to the headset. Fourth official, Kevin Scott, and Chautakis. Remember the last time they uh, challenged Denver Nuggets, that Jamal Murray fifth foul sent over to Nikola Jokic. Darvin Ham hoping that the foul called against Schroeder is waved off. And since nobody picked up the ball after the Murray miss and went out of bounds, it will be Laker ball if, in fact, the Lakers win this challenge. Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals tomorrow night in Boston. Celtics and Heat, 8 Eastern time. Dave Pash, Doris Burke, Roz Golden-Woody will have the call for you. P.J. George and I will be back here in Denver for game two coming up on Thursday night, also at 8 Eastern. Well, Mr. Van Gundy, if he joined us uh, during this timeout, would be saying, I know, but it can't take this long. <laughs> We've had two huge stoppages that have just ruined the flow of the game. Yeah, you want to get it right, but at you want to keep playing. Yeah. Players are losing their sweat. They've been standing around so long. After review, the illegal contact by Schroeder took place with his right arm underneath the arm of Murray. The ruling on the floor is an unsuccessful challenge. However, it is not in the shooting motion, but there will be two shots for the penalty for Murray. There you go. So unsuccessful challenge. Foul against Schroeder holds. And the Lakers now, as you heard Zach Zarba say, well, over the limit, and it was a shooting foul. That'll be Jamal Murray to the free throw line for two shots at 5.48 to go in the fourth. I'm not buying it. I'm, if he had said the contact with his chest, I would have bought it. With his right arm, I'm not buying it. Well, at the free throw line, Jamal Murray has a chance to give the Denver Nuggets two 30-point scores in game one. He's sitting at 29. Two big calls have gone Denver's way. First one up, first one in. That's 30 for Jamal Murray. Not that Denver needs help, but boy, fortunate. Two challenges. 
<laughs> Dennis Schroeder is talking to Zach Zarber right now, going, what? Hey, can you explain that to me again? In English, not in German, he's asking me. Two free throws good for Jamal Murray, who steps it up in the postseason. He pretty good at 20 points per game regular year. Do you remember first half, he was kind of playing okay to middle of the second quarter, and then he got real hot before they went into the locker room, and he has just continued in the second half. 13-point lead, Anthony Davis floater down low is good, back to 11. Davis with 36 points in game one, but the Lakers trail the Nuggets 123 to 112. 520 to go. Nikola Jokic, 31, 19, and 13 here in the opening. Gives it up to Murray up top, Schroeder defending. Pass to Jokic near the high post, skips it across to the left quarter. He'll drive inside the arc, fading, turning, shot short. Offensive rebound, Gordon. James trying to knock it away from Gordon, commits the personal. Aaron Gordon's been very quiet tonight. That was the big offensive rebound right there. Michael Porter again made a good move and then made a much more difficult shot than he needed to out of that, but again, big rebound for Aaron Gordon. I don't know if our friends in SIG can research this, but I'm going to say, if they're not able to come all the way back, the Lakers are going to set a record for highest field goal percentage in a losing effort ever. What? Lakers shooting 57% north of 70 here in the second half. Well north of 70. Aaron Gordon hit the first free throw. 5-11 to go. 12-point game. Missed Ooh. the second. Aaron Gordon, after we were bragging on him in the first half about his improved free throw shooting, has regressed. Lakers down a dozen. Schroeder with it. Five minutes to go in the opener. Gives it up to LeBron on top against Murray. Drives into him, puts the right shoulder, had it knocked away. It's loose. A whistle. Baseline oh, official boy. Eric Lewis with the call. And they don't have a they don't have a challenge. That's five on Jamal Murray. You look at it, Testy. I was wrong in the last review. Uh, take a I look thought at the LeBron replay. knocked him back. James put the right shoulder into him twice. and then elbowed him with the right hand. Yeah, uh, LeBron that. fouled him twice, but yeah. Murray picks up his fifth. He's a tough cover, and it's a tough cover for Murray. And Jamal had his right arm, maybe not perfectly vertical, down just a little bit. But when LeBron shot the ball, his right arm went right through Jamal Murray's arm. And we heard the crowd cheer. That means LeBron missed the first of two. James has 22, 10, and 7 here in the opener. AD just walked over to assistant coach Chris Gent and asked him, I got Gordon? Like, I'm not on the phone right now? Let's just see if he's got it right. Let's see when he goes back out. James splits the pair. 124-113. 11-point game. And sure enough, Rui's on uh, Jokic. There's Murray against Schroeder. They're going to use... Uh, A.D. the double team. Murray shoots a three. Missed it. A.D. goes for the rebound. Out of bounds to Los Angeles. Murray went into Schroeder. Ben Taylor's got an over-the-top oh, foul. Does. On, uh, I ball. think on Joker. Over the limit is Denver. This will be free throws. Back to the Murray shot. He leaned into Schroeder, who went down looking to get the call. Didn't get it. Murray wisely knew he had space. Took it. Missed it. Good call by Ben Taylor. I'm assuming that was on Jokic. It was. He grabbed, four. grabbed AD's right arm. This game is still getting a little too close if you're a Denver fan. Well, if Davis makes both, it'll be down to nine with 439 to go. The Lakers have threatened. Never got too close. Got it down to eight at one point as AD hits the first of two. And Denver has always come up with a big shot. They haven't played a ton of defense in the second half. Got a big block, though, from Aaron Gordon to restore a lead. Now the Lakers trying to make it interesting here at 439 left in game one. Well, they've already made it interesting. Davis, second free throw. Good as well. Down to nine. Anthony Davis has himself a 40-point opener to the Western Conference Finals. So the Lakers are trailing. Good call, too. AD is taking a long time to shoot his free throws. Xavier's Caldwell Pope standing well beyond the three-point line. Ten to shoot. Gets it into Jokic. Jokic back outside. KCP lets fly from three. It's a miss. Long rebound. LeBron's got it. 
Down nine, 415 to go. Pass to the corner, Reeves. Reeves had it taken away. No, a foul's called on KCP, who aggressively tried to take it away from Austin Reeves, who got fouled, and both teams are over the limit. Reeves will shoot two. Unfortunately, we got a situation now where every call by the official is going to result in free throws for one team or the other, and the game has lost all flow whatsoever, Texas. As Reeves hits the first of two, also aided by those two long challenge runs. Well, we had those two, but now we get, we're not even getting a possession or two consecutive without a whistle. I thought it was a good call, frankly. KCP had his arm in there. Reeves, two free throws. How about the Lakers are only down seven? 4-12 to go. In a half-court game. Aaron Gordon at the controls for Denver on top. Goes to Jokic, tip of the circle. Hachimura defending. Jokic, seven-footer turns. Now dribbles to his right. Spins into the lane shot. Blocked by Davis. James has it with four minutes to go. LeBron on his horse. Gets deep. Puts up a shot. No good. And he's fouled. LeBron James will go to the line. And the Lakers have a chance to get it down to five. Well, he almost had two possessions without a whistle. But no. Nikola Jokic beat. Rui Hachimura, remember we said that conversation with Chris Gent. AD is not guarding Nikola Jokic. He's guarding Aaron Gordon so he can help off him, which is what he did just there. Fifth foul on KCP. James, five of seven at the line. First one is good with 3.53 left. 124-118. Denver led by as many as 21. The lead has a chance to be dropped to five. Both James teams Pitcher. in the bonus. We're going to look at a number of free throws, unfortunately, in this last 353. Free throw, no good. Pops out. Rebounded by Jokic. That's his 20th rebound in game one. Denver hanging on with a six-point lead. Murray front court, right wing, 340 left. Murray terminates the dribble. Passes to Jokic against Hachimura. Backs him down into the lane. Jokic double team fires underneath, out of bounds. Tried to find Gordon, and a turnover by Denver. He thought Aaron Gordon was going to step in, and instead Aaron Gordon was trying to steal his man off, so he didn't step toward the rim. Jokic tried to lead him toward the rim, and instead a huge turnover. Turnover number 10 on Denver. Down six, Lakers have it. Three and a half to go here in Denver. Here's Reeves catching two, three, makes it! And the deficit is cut in half to three. Timeout, Denver. Austin Reeves triple. And the Lakers, once down 21, have cut it to a one-possession game. Nine straight Laker points. Much better execution in the half court by the Lakers. Denver's half court execution has been lacking. And unfortunately for them, they're not getting enough stops to get their transition game going again. This game is just ground to a half-court halt that favors the purple and gold. That's P.J. Carlissimo and Mark Kestisher, George Sedano with us. John Madani, our producer, Al Rosenberg, our engineer, 322 to go. Denver 124, the Lakers 121, and don't forget, full coverage, full conference finals coverage with Keyshawn, Jay Will, and Max Weekday morning, 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern, followed by Greeny with Mike Greenberg until noon on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Lakers have outscored the Nuggets 29 to 18 here in the fourth quarter. Denver has not lost at home this postseason. And the Lakers felt like one was slipping away here. All of a sudden, right back in it, down three. Most of these teams 6 and 0 in the postseason at home. And in the regular season, the Denver Nuggets were 34 and 7, second best home record in the NBA. They've got their hands full getting to 7 and 0 in the postseason right now. Fans get to their feet. Sellout crowd here at Ball Arena. They go into Jamal Murray, brings it across the timeline against Schroeder. Murray with a dribble on the Denver logo. 3.15 to go. Using the Jokic screen. Murray feeds Jokic. Tip of the circle against Hachimura. Thinks about shooting. Puts it on the deck against Rui. Turns, fades, fires, missed it. Gordon, another big offensive rebound. And a foul against Los Angeles. How about Aaron Gordon coming up with two big offensive rebounds here in the final five minutes. Fouls on Reeves is fourth. Well, there's no question how big it was, Jesse, but it loses its importance 
if Aaron is not able to cash these free throws in. Aaron Gordon, 3 of 6 at the free throw line today. Denver's lead is down to a precarious 3, and the first one is good. Boy, look good. Game. Look good shooting it, too. Good stroke there by Aaron Gordon. Second full season in Denver for Gordon. Shot it well from three in the Phoenix series. Denver really struggling, and it's their two main guys that have the ball. Almost every play is either a post-up between Murray and Jokic or a pick-and-roll. Second one, Gordon front rims it, no good. Rebound L.A., four-point Denver lead, 125-121. Do we have a classic building here in the Mile High City with 2.50 to go? LeBron James going across the top, Murray picking him up. James likes the matchup with seven to shoot. Takes him to the free throw line. Fade, squares, fire, circles out. AD with an offensive rebound. Tried to tip foot. Loose in the deck. Bodies down. Still down. Fighting for the ball. And KCP comes away with it. Sends it ahead to Murray. Lobs it for Gordon who flushes it home. Heads up play by Denver out of the scramble. And they're on their feet in Denver. 2.26 to go. What a pass by Jamal Murray. I can't believe he took a chance throwing that lob. But boy, did it pay off. 127-121 Denver. Lakers Reeves wheels on the three-point line and buries another one. Two big hits for Austin Reeves. Back to a three-point game. Denver still leading. Same look. Austin Reeves sets the screen for LeBron James. He picks and pops. LeBron James sets him up for the three. Two minutes to go in game one. Jokic with it against Hachimura. Bumps him down to the circle. Sends it up top to KCP who drives into the lane. Puts it high off the window and in. Centavius Caldwell Pope putting Denver in front by five with a minute 50 left. That was over AD. That's not easy to do. LeBron James into the front court for Los Angeles. Stops on the three-point line, gives it up to Schroeder. Schroeder drives down, opposite corner, Hachimura over to Reeves, another three on its way. That one back iron and rebounded by Jokic. Number 21 rebound for Nikola Jokic. 90 seconds to go. This has got to be Murray and Jokic. Denver leads by five, nearly seeing a 21-point lead disappear. Murray inside the arc, still dribbling, five to shoot. Murray around the Jokic screen. Murray crossing over, lifts for three, missed it, rebound Schroeder. 1.14 to go, and a collision on the outlet to James, who got knocked down by Porter. What a bad play. That's going to put James at the line with 1.12 to go in the fourth quarter. Michael Porter, he must have thought he had a chance to intercept it again. The mistakes, the defensive mistakes. That's in the backcourt on an outlet pass. Michael Porter should be sprinting back on defense, and instead he bumps LeBron James. No time off the clock, and LBJ with a chance to cut it to three. Porter was so out of position. Russell Wilson would have been proud of the uh, shoulder block he threw at LeBron James, who hits the first of two free throws with 1.12 to go. Wow. One more make by LeBron. We'll get it back to a one-possession game. James with 25 points, 12 rebounds, and 9 assists here in Game 1. I'll tell you, Chesky, I think Denver is going to need, as LBJ knocks the second one down, Denver's going to need an offensive rebound again in this final 65 seconds if they're going to secure this win. 129-126, Denver. Murray on top, dribbles across two staggered screens, feeds Jokic, who feeds it to KCP. Open for three, no good, Davis rebounds. 54 seconds to go with the Lakers down three. James will bring it into the front court. Murray's going to defend him on the three-point line. He's going to rise for the tie, miss the shot, loose ball, near the end line, out of bounds. Schroeder last to touch, it's Denver basketball. James went for the tie, and with 42 seconds to go, the Nuggets have it up three. Chance for a three for two, most or two for one. Most teams do not go for a two for one in the fourth quarter end game. Jokic tied up in the post with Hachimura. Murray feeds him. Now Jokic attacks the basket. AD went for the block and a whistle and a foul on LA. Going to be on AD as Jokic aggressively went to the rim and now he'll go to the line. I thought he called a rebounding foul. If you had a hand on the arm, could have went either way. Either way, Jokic is going to the free throw line. I, I thought it was a rebound foul he called. 
Jokic with 31 points. Make it 32 points as he hits the first of two. Jokic, 42 minutes logged here in game number one. Four-point lead. Jokic, another. Got it. Up five. 26 and three-tenths to go. Timeout Los Angeles with Denver leading 131 to 126. Darvin Ham takes timeout. He still has one left. Michael Malone has two. The message right now is doesn't matter whether it's a two or a three. Three would be nice, but what matters is the time it takes to get it. You just tell them this is a difficult line to walk for teams late in the game. If it takes longer than you want, it's okay because you have to score on this possession. You would love to be able to get in and within one pass get a basket, whether it's a two or whether it's a three, and then they're just going to decide how long do we go without fouling. Once they get the ball inbounds, if they choose to go without a timeout, who do we want to foul, and are we going to go one trap or two to play this end game possession right now? Hey, it's been a great game, Kesty, yes. regardless. It's too bad. To me, the last four or five minutes just lost its flow with the reviews and the constant fouls and so many free throws down the stretch. If nothing else, it certainly looks like we've got a pretty interesting series in front of us. Game two coming up Thursday night here in Denver. 8 Eastern Time pregame on ESPN Radio. You can see the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Television as well. The Eastern Finals get underway in Boston tomorrow night on ESPN Radio. If they look for a three, you would think it would be Reeves or Schroeder. They're the two best three-point shooters on the floor for the Lakers. Lakers down five, 26.3 to go. Zach Zarba about to hand the ball to Anthony Davis on the sideline left. Looking, still looking, gets it into James. No James foul. 26. Sends it to the top to Reeves. Reeves drives against Jokic. Pass underneath James. Lost the ball. Jokic came up with it. Shot clocks off. Down floor. Bruce Brown sees that and dribbles out. Not 12 foul. seconds to go. And now Reeves fouls with 10.9 against Jokic, who could pad the stats at the end. 33, 21, and 14 for Jokic with a couple of free throws to go. Well, they went with the set to get Austin Reeves a shot. He drove in, and rather than shoot it, he put it in LeBron James' hand. LeBron just lost it, trying to go between his legs, and it fell right in Nikola Jokic's hand. Uh, Denver, very, very fortunate. Nonetheless, a critical game one win. As Jokic misses the first, just got to look at that replay. Jamal Murray got the steal on LeBron James, his third. Knocked it away. Yep, from behind. 10.9 to go. Jokic, one more free throw. That was his first miss of game one. Makes the second. Timeout L.A. They're last with 10.9. Same thing we said only now, even quicker. you got to yes. get the ball inbounds, and they've got to get a shot up immediately. It has to be a three right now. They're down six. So they need a screen, off the inbounds pass, an immediate three-point attempt. They tried to get it to Reeves that time. But Denver did a good job. They closed on Reeves, and they forced him to dribble in. He was wide open, dribbling into the basket. I think if he had to do over again, he would have taken the taken the quick two. I think for as upset as Mike Malone was with his defense for most of the second quarter, biggest defensive play of the game, coming down the stretch there, resulting in the Murray takeaway. Yeah, they executed right now, right then when they had to. It is not going to be a pretty defensive take for the Nuggets, but... Playoff basketball, all you care about is the final score. And barring are not a miracle, two miracles, uh, Denver's going to secure game one. Remember, there's uh, only one off day between every game. Jokic logging 42 minutes, but James and Davis, those are the two you're going to keep an eye on. Anthony Davis, 42 minutes tonight. LeBron, 40 minutes. Reeves is young, so 42. That should be no big deal for him. But, but the big two, as the series go deeper, that'll become a, a focus point. As no question. It's been strange. Every series, we've had some very good series, both east and west, but we've had an uncanny number of blowouts. Yes. We see a good game, and then all of a sudden we see a 25-point game. 10.9 to go. Lakers down 6, 132 to 126. They need a quick three and a quick foul to keep hope alive. 
Reeves will inbound this time. Jokic defending. Reeves looking into James. James rises, shoots the three, missed it. Rebound Murray, and that's going to do it in Denver. Murray and Jokic, brilliant in game one. Another 30-point triple-double for Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. Take the opener of the Western Conference Finals, 132-126 the final. Certainly not as easy as it started out. It looked like Denver was going to dominate and run the Lakers out of here. Far from it. I don't want to say either team is necessarily happy. Denver's happy they got their win. They know they need to play a lot better, and they know they need to put somebody away when you have the opportunity to do just that. Darvin Ham will have no trouble convincing his team, hey, guys, this game was ours to be had even after we dug a huge hole to start it out. Well, we will have a star of the game coming up in a moment, but we identified the big matchup of the series as Jokic against AD, and it lived up to it. Anthony Davis goes for 40 in the loss. Jokic, 34-point triple-double. Jamal Murray had 31, standing by with George Sedano. Thank you, Kesty. We're here with Jamal Murray. Jamal, this thing turned into a dogfight. How did you pull it out? I'd uh, stay with it. We know they're bound for a run. Uh, they're a good team, so... Uh, we had to stay resilient, but I think we did a good job executing both ends uh, throughout the game. How big was that challenge you guys had on what would have been your fifth foul back then? <laughs> no, it was tough. I, I had been a foul tough in a minute, so to play without fouling, especially going on LeBron down the stretch, uh, I think we figured out we did a good job as a team just kind of uh, protecting my calls and protecting the fouls and um, they were limited from the line. You and Jokic continue with that two-man game. How special is that? I think, I mean, we're great, but I think KCP... Shout out to KCP. He came out firing. Uh, Mike played a great all-around game. AG was a dog down there, so, you know, everybody chipped into this. And lastly, a close game means the chess match continues in game two. What do you look at at this game that you can take forward to the next one? We can't give up a lead, especially against this team. When we got a lead, we got to protect it and not turn the ball over and give them life. Um, I think that will be a number one goal for the next game. Jamal, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Cassidy, back to you. All right, George, thanks a lot. And Yeah, you know Michael Malone's going to be all over that. Big lead disappeared. Big challenge by the coaching staff. It was late coming in. The refs gave them a lot of rope when Murray yeah, looked like really did. he I'm had his fifth foul. I'm surprised that that's not going to be second guess. And Murray was able to transfer. The, they transferred the foul to Jokic, who had many fewer. But what a terrific game by both guys. Jokic, when the final horn sounded, I don't think he was tired, but he bent over at the waist in relief about the victory. Got to be exhausted as he heads out after playing 42 minutes. I mean, the line's ridiculous. 34 points, 21 rebounds, and 14 assists. Well, I'll tell you, four guys who are really tired, uh, the stars, people talk about when it gets to playoff basketball, that's the opportunity for the stars to shine. I bought LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Nikola Jokic, and Jamal Murray. <laughs> They earned their money tonight, no question about that. I know it's cliche, but uh, sign us up for six more of these. Uh, I'll tell you what, they, it could be like that. It would be really interesting to see. Uh, Lakers, after shooting 75 in the third, dropped all the way to 56 <laughs> in the fourth quarter. I'll tell you what, uh, Denver was very, very fortunate. Uh, hats off. I don't take anything away from it. It's a great win for the Nuggets, but uh, trying to beat... The Lakers, just with your offense, is a dangerous recipe. Very dangerous recipe. Well, the De Denver Nuggets are in the Western Conference Finals for the fifth time. Four times against the Lakers, against whom they've lost the previous three. And for the first time in franchise history, uh, Jokic and Murray, first pair of Nuggets teammates with 30 points each in a Conference Finals game. Tonight, the Joker... Goes for 34, 21, and 14. Murray goes for 31 points. A critical third steal near the end. And the Nuggets have the lead in the best of seven. One game to none. 132-126 the final over the Lakers. Now for P.J. Carlesimo, George Sedano, our producer, John Madani, and our engineer, Al Rosenberg. I'm Mark Kestisher. They'll do it from Denver. Now let's send it to Kevin Winter in the studio with the postgame show. Kesty, P.J., and George enjoy the off day. That was one heck of a basketball game. And I'm with you, Kesty. Sign me up for six more of those. Uh, that's the way this game's going to be. 132-126 is your final. The NBA on ESPN Radio has been presented by Indeed. Attract, interview, and hire at Indeed.com slash credit. I want to thank all of you who logged on to our Twitter account, at NBA on ESPN Radio, to vote in the AutoZone in the zone. Poll question, 69% of you 
You're smart people. Said Nikola Jokic should be the player to get in the zone tonight. 34 points, 21 boards, 14 assists on 12 of 17 shooting. I think you got that one right. Up next in the postgame show, we'll give you the highlights. We'll let you hear from the Joker. It's the Denver Nuggets have taken a one-game to none lead over the Los Angeles Lakers. This is the Western Conference Finals on the ESPN Radio the ESPN app. Remember college, early morning classes, all-night study sessions, and somewhere in there, maybe even a social life, five-hour energy got you through. Now, you've got responsibilities, work, bills, a family. Five-hour energy is still here with the same alert, energized feeling you relied on back then. Every day, five-hour energy helps millions just like you be at their best when it really matters. Rediscover five-hour energy. We'll get you through again. For more information, visit fivehourenergy.com. Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Ah, thinking about gas mileage. You know, changing your oil with a full synthetic oil like Valvoline Advance can help your engine get more miles. Right now, buy a five-quart jug and get a free STP Extended Life oil filter. That's right, free. Get started on your next job today with the parts you need, when you need them, at AutoZone or AutoZone.com. Get in zone, AutoZone. Restrictions apply. Angie's list is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco move. Your words? Less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. Will they find a home? Sponsored by Geico. Sarah wants a yard. My own little paradise. Brad, however, hates yard work. The only thing I hate more than cutting the grass is paying someone to cut the grass. Compromise is tough, but these two won't have to compromise when they bundle home and car insurance with Geico. It's easy, and they could save even more. In the end, Sarah and Brad found a great home with a yard. A very, very small yard. Time to get it done. And I'm done. Bundling without compromise at Geico.com. This copyrighted broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. This is the NBA on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Kevin Orchard with you in our Granger studio. Game 1 is in the books in the Western Conference Finals. We'll have game one in the East, Celtics Heat, coming up tomorrow night, beginning at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Right here on ESPN Radio. Keyshawn, J. Will and Max recap all the NBA from tonight, or otherwise known as the one game. And they'll look ahead to tomorrow night's game, starting 6 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Our game flow brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Protect your family, your phone, and your family, your furry friends with life, electronic device, and health insurance. All right, let's go through some of the highlights in the first half, this was all Denver. Bruder turns it over. Here's KCP in transition to Murray. Feeds the rolling corner for the two-hand slam. 15-point Denver lead. Well, they're feasting on those turnovers, Testy. And the Los Angeles Lakers would trail the Denver Nuggets at the half 72-56. to 56. That's your score at the break. 16-point game. Go to the third quarter. Lakers start making a little closer and closer. Jokic 94 feet away. Will inbound to Murray. Quickly back to Jokic with four. Jokic dribbling three-point line with three. Jokic with one. Will rise. Contested triple. Goes home at the end of the third. A rainbow finding the pot of gold. And it's back-to-back 30-point triple-doubles in the postseason for Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic triple-double through three quarters. That's our three-pointer of the game brought to you by Navy Federal Credit Union. Proud to serve members of the Armed Forces, DOD, veterans, and their families. Our members are the mission. Learn more at NavyFederal.org. So you go into the fourth quarter, and the Nuggets still have the lead. But if it weren't for that three, that's a nice run by the Lakers to make the game close. 
And then it got interesting down the stretch. James goes over the top to Hachimura, back out to Reeves, struggling from outside. Reeves connects on that one, 109 to 100, and all of a sudden the Lakers are down nine. Timeout Denver, jubilant Lakers hopping off their bench. Denver had a response. Jokic backs up, now hands it off. Murray nearly lost it with five. Murray on the drive, Murray into the lane. Scoop shot, good. Jamal Murray with 27. Here's Murray, double team, baseline left. 14 to shoot, sends it out, gets it back. Against Lonnie Walker, they'll isolate left side. Nine to shoot. Puts his shoulder into Walker. Can't get by him. Into the mid post. Turns, fades, fires. Yep, another one for Murray who's up to 29. Jamal Murray would have himself a game as well. He finishes with 31. Joker and Murray combine for 65 points for the Denver Nuggets. But down six, Lakers have it. Three and a half to go here in Denver. Here's Reeves catching two, three, makes it. And the deficit is cut in half to three. Timeout, Denver. Austin Reeves triple. And the Lakers, once down 21, have cut it to a one-possession game. Whoa! Whoa! Down 21, and the Lakers are down three. But then... James likes the matchup with seven to shoot. Takes him to the free throw line. Fade, squares, fire, circles out. AD with an offensive rebound. Tried to tip, foot loose in the deck. Body's down. Still down, fighting for the ball. And KCP comes away with it. Sends it ahead to Murray. Lobs it for Gordon, who flushes it home. Heads up play by Denver out of the scramble. And they're on their feet in Denver. 2.26 to go. What a pass by Jamal Murray. I can't believe he took a chance throwing that lob. But boy, did it pay off. Half-court lob. It's our getting and done. Play the game right here by Granger. Winning teams know the value of a good sixth man. You can rely on Granger when you need a boost off the bench. Get supplies and solutions for every industry at a Granger.com. Denver hangs on to win. 132-126. 21-point lead. Got whittled down to three, but never got closer. Nuggets are up one game to none. Up next, we'll hear from the triple-double man himself, Nikola Jokic, 34-21-14. That's all next. This is the NBA Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio.